Hey guys, Jay. Welcome back to the channel. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And the toy news just never stops and mass the universe. <laughs> Masters of the universe. It's the property that just keeps on giving. You know, it, it's it's the gift that just keeps on giving. It's a lot of Easter eggs. A lot of Easter eggs happening. A lot of things to talk about for the Master Universe. And why not, right? Why freaking not? So many things to discuss. A lot of things that, that have happened in the, in, in the toy industry. I, I say industry, but I, I'm going to use that term lightly. I mean, like, you know, there's there's a lot of things about the industry. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, a lot of... It's hard to adjust this at the, on the fly. Are you kidding me? Come here. Uh, I'm a professional, guys. I'm a, I'm a professional. I, I, you know, this week, this week was, has been full of surprises. It really has. It's been full of shocks. It's been full of announcements. It's been full of a whole bunch of just crazy things that have been going on in the toy world. Um, not so surprising, surprising, you know, expected, not so expected. But at the end of the day, toys, 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 toys. A lot of things coming up, a lot of deadlines coming up, a lot of things happening for this weekend, and a lot of you guys know what the heck I'm talking about. I'm standing right beside it. Like, look at that. Uh, Flipboard, everybody. Flipboard. The project that just <laughs> defies all logic in a lot of ways, but at the same time, just absolutely, absolutely incredible. Damn, this stupid mic has, has defied all odds. And really, uh, just shocked everybody to the core. And I, I am, I am, I'm super humbled and uh, and grateful to the community uh, for for everything, um, especially where we are right now. Um, no matter where we end up, no matter where we end up, it has just been an incredible experience and quite the um, quite the shock. Extremely humbling. Um, I've been saying this at a couple a couple of live streams uh, with some folks, you know, when when it first when the, when the project was first announced, I, I, I was <laughs> I was of the impression, like I think a lot of us, that if if we had raised a thousand dollars on the first day, I would have been I would have been jumping over the moon. I, I would have been absolutely you know gobsmacked, <laughs> and gobsmacked just went out the window. Uh, I, you know, I, I was actually thinking, hey, if we make ten thousand uh, dollars, raise ten thousand dollars in the first day, I think I would be jumping for joy, and that's not what, <laughs> that's not what happened at all. The community came together and really just blew all of my expectations out the window. I think everybody's expectations, uh, Hatter's expectations, you know, the whole team was just just uh, you know completely flabbergasted. Like we we were not just gobsmacked, we 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 were we were we were hit across the the head with a with a crowbar and never really looked back. So huge thanks to everybody who supported the Flipboard project up until this point. You have until uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time on Monday of April 1st. Uh, don't mark that on your calendars, guys, uh, to back Flipboard. That will be the last moment. Um, and it's weird because the 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 uh, the Kickstarter campaign I was counting down very weird. Like it was, it was, it was almost like it was a day ahead, or sorry, yeah, a day, it was like a day ahead because it kept saying one, it kept saying like three days left, two days left, um, but it was actually more like four days left, three days left. But we were following that counter and updating the page and the announcements uh, to reflect that, and then it came down to today, and. At around 9 a.m. Pacific time, it rolled over to like say two days left, and then it went to like hours left, and it was like 60 hours. I was like, wait a second, that's like three days, right? So very odd, very odd how how Kickstarter does that, confusing a lot of people. Um, but yeah, this is the last. Well, now it's going to be two days. <laughs> it's going to be two days and a few hours uh, to back Flipboard Saturday, Sunday. And then, of course, Monday. Um, but I just wanted to give a, a huge heartfelt thank you guys for, for everything. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about Flipboard towards the end. And 
what we what we're hoping to achieve and and some of the goals. I did want to show uh, an amazing commercial by by Matt Hatter, uh, which just blew my mind. Honestly, I was so uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have watched it yet. It it is hilarious. It is absolutely hilarious. Captures the spirit of uh, of of 1985, um, and I was I was just uh, <laughs> I was so so happy when I saw that commercial. Uh, he'd been talking about it for months, you know. I mean, he'd he'd been talking about it for for a long time. Um, but uh, again, these things take time, right? These things take time. There are a lot of effects that were um, that were associated with this. Uh, if you guys actually, if, if you guys had the time to watch it. Um, it, it, there, there, it was very effects laden. Uh, the, the script was very well done. I mean, it was funny as hell. Again, we'll, 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 we'll look at it, um, uh, it, it a little later. Uh, but I just wanted to, to acknowledge the fact that like the creativity that Matt Hatter has is just through the roof, man. The, the, the guy's, a, the guy's a freaking comedic genius. Um, and it really, he's trying, he's trying to, to, to build something here. There's a, there's a world and a narrative that's being built around Flip War, which a lot of people don't really know. And a lot of people are, are, are sort of just assuming this might be a one-off thing. No, Hatter's looking to to really make something out of this and to to really... Uh, this is his baby, you know what I mean? Like, this is this is something which he really believes in and is really happy and, and, and honored. Uh, if I, I'm not, I don't want to speak for Hatter, but but I do, I do know that this is very important to him and, and that he really wants this to be, to be you know, a big thing. Uh, you know, um, at least for the community, at least for the toy community at large. Um, and, you know, this is one of those things where we never expected, none of the team has ever expected, uh, you know, as much of the reception that that came out of this. And, and you know, it was huge uh, what what happened uh, over the course of this last month. Um, and it's, it's, it's just so heartwarming and, and honestly, it's, it's humbling. It really is humbling. Um, but Flip or is is probably the biggest thing uh, top of mind because it's ending in a couple of days. But holy crap, today, today, talking talk, 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 talk about you know spending your spending money <laughs> today. Mondo dropped something on their uh, on on their social media pages, which has completely blindsided all of us. Um, I I think that. <laughs> I think I think Mondo, uh, I love Mondo, I do. I, I love those guys. You know, I, I was able to meet a couple of uh, you know Hector Arce and uh, and Attack Peter and and all those guys. Uh, great, great guys. Obviously, um, I didn't meet I didn't meet uh, Tommy Hodges. I would have loved to meet Tommy, um, but um, yeah, I, I I I do have to not question, but I do have to wonder. With with everything going on right now, you know the the toy industry really is vying for all of our dollars, right? And I get it. Uh, when you're in a one six scale environment, you have to you know price things out accordingly. Um, but man, Mondo's Mondo's releases, whoo, 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 they are coming fast and furious. You know what I mean? Like we had Orco earlier in the year, then we had Rogue earlier in the year. And <laughs> along with Gambit, right? Along with Gambit, because they, they 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 re-released Gambit. Um, and yeah, man, like uh, Tila, freaking Tila, man! Holy crap! Uh, you know, I think a lot of people uh, was were with, with Orko. It was like a, a you know, some people would would love to get him. Some people like uh, a little bit on the fence with Orko. Uh, but Tila, Tila is a heavy. Tila is one of those heavy hitters, man. She she is a uh, if, if in terms of like Master Universe and 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 the mythos of Master Universe and she is you know a, a heavy hitter and that's not to talk about you know, that's not even talking about revelations and revolutions man that's not even that's not even in the conversation on that level I'm just talking about straight up Tila is like one of the most important parts of the Master Universe um, because if you think about it her role her original role right her original actual role was the sorceress of Grayskull, right? If you, if you really dumb it, uh, sorry, if you, if you really take Master Universe down to its core, right? All the way down to the Alcala, uh, you know, comic books, you know, the original Ma uh, Master Universe lore. Uh, I say comic books, but they're not really, they're more like picture books. You know what I mean? But 
if you bring it down to that to that base level, you know, to the the original like antithesis of of Master Universe, it really was Tila as the sorceress, uh, uh, the green goddess now, if you will, um, you know, taking on or bringing bringing a barbarian into her midst to become the protector, uh, you know, the the champion, right? And even that was like a constant changing, evolving kind of thing, right? But she was always there, right? From the very get-go of, of the comics, right? Um, now her role changed multiple times. You know, they, they sort of split her personality, saying that she was the green goddess, but also Tila at the same time under a trance. You know, there were so many different aspects of Tila that, 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 that came out of left field. Um, and it was just one of those things that are, you, you, you know that you know that Master Universe is just this crazy melding of, of, of like, you know, dare I say, you know, drug induced uh, hallucination. You know what I mean? Like, it was just one of those crazy things that came out of imaginations. Mark Taylor and all the creators over, over at Mattel, uh, you know, just like throwing things at the wall, seeing what was going to stick. I mean, like, when you really look at like, uh, um, uh, you know, the, the, the three original maquettes. You really were looking at something like, you know, just put something together and let's try to get something out into the market, right? So T Tila was a, Tila was a product of that as well, right? Um, and it was one of those weird situations, you know, do boys play with girls uh, toys, right? Because it, there was there was a sense that uh, female female toys, uh, you know, like Barbies and and uh, and little dollies and things like that. No, those those would stay on one side of the aisleway, and the boys' toys literally stayed on the other side of the aisleway. And I think Tila was like, you know, this 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 crazy what if moment. It's like, holy crap, here's a a, a feminine character, uh, you know, like fighting alongside the male characters. You know, is that gonna fly? And I think that Mattel really did not know what they had uh, <laughs> when they when they created this property originally. You know, they were just thinking maybe one wave, two waves, and that's it. And all of a sudden, it just became this huge international, uh, you know, thing. And Tila, Tila was a, a, a huge part of that, right? Her, she's again over the years, she's she's like her overall role has, has changed multiple times. Whether it was two thousand X, whether it was new uh, new adventures, whether it was um, um, uh, revelations or revolutions, or uh, you know, He Man of the Master Universe, Netflix, right? Tila has always been. Um, you know, part of the conversation. Now, obviously, with the, with Mass Universe, um, Netflix, He Man and the Mass Universe, they did change. You know, a lot of things about Tila, but they still kept her sorceress roots. You know what I mean? The the idea that her destiny was an important one, and that uh, you know she is she was trying to the, you know her mother was trying to give her a different life. I don't want to spoil too many things. You know, I really should shut up right now. <laughs> I, I just I'm just very very excited uh, at the prospect of of Tila um, coming into Mondo, um, and, and I, I I put up a video early tonight. Um, a lot of people were asking me, you know, uh, if this video is come up, coming up, are you going to are you going to go live? And you know, as as it is with me, I just I'm just not, I just want to you know I'll, I'll snap decision things. It's been a very busy week for me. It's been a very busy month for me. It's been a very busy year for me i mean like you know th things have been evolving uh a lot um i've had a lot of opportunities come my way uh <laughs> i wish there were more paid opportunities but uh you know that's another that's another freaking story entirely but um um yeah in terms of like the toy community and, and the toy industry wow just wow just just an incredible an incredible start to the year um a lot of things that that that, that have been uh going on but Top of mind, of course, is Master Universe. Like, you know, releasing their fall 2024 calendar. Um, I guess it's not just fall; it's just the whole the whole gambit, right? Turtles of Gray Skull, uh, cartoon collection. Um, you know, uh, the um, the the Master Universe Origins, right? Uh, exclusives. You know what I mean? Like Target and Walmart and damn, why do we even have exclusives, right? Yeah. And you know, just everything else in between. And then you know, we have uh, <laughs> everybody keeps bringing up that the line is not dead. You know what I mean? And and where that comes from, and and how 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 that evolved, right? And you know, there's just so much stuff surrounding that. And then you know, just so many things happening around that, like you know, Scott's channel being taken down. Like, what the hell? Um, you know. 
and I, I truly, I, like myself, I, I don't believe he deserved that at all. Like that was an absolute abuse of the of the YouTube system, and it's really terrible. Like that should never happen. Like that that no one deserves no 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 one should have their channel taken away from them the way Scott did. And that was again not not getting too far into the weeds. I just wanted to kind of mention that because it was just one of those things where everyone keeps talking about the line is not dead. It's actually become a mantra for uh, for Massey Universe fans. You know what I mean? So uh, I just felt it was you know kind of uh, interesting that. As the line continues to grow, um, for whatever reason, right, uh, Scott's channel got got removed, and that was just under the most worst, terrible circumstances, right? He didn't; it, it didn't deserve to be taken down. There was no reason for it to be taken down. And wh- however you feel about Scott Knight, like, right, however you like, he doesn't deserve that. You know what I mean? Like that's that's something I think needs to be said. I think it really does need to be said that Scott Nightlake does not deserve to have his channel taken down for false pretenses, right? Um, Fair use is one of these things which is so difficult to nail down. It's it's just this touchy subject, which YouTube has for all their for for everything that they do, they've done it. They've done an okay job at it, but the system can be abused so much that anybody's channel can be taken down at any time and you know it's it's guilty until proven innocent what the hell you know what i mean like that i think that i think is the worst part about the system that we have currently in place with um with youtube that it's guilty until proven innocent right they will they will side with the copyright owner until proven otherwise and i think i think i think that's a travesty you know it's it's that's in 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 the north american jurisprudence you know what i mean well at least you know, my understanding of it, you know, you're innocent until proven guilty, right? I mean, that's, that's, that's the idea, right? So the way, the the way the system is with YouTube, is just really, really strange. Anyway, um, not getting too far into the weeds as I said, uh, but I'm glad Scott's back and he's still fighting an uphill battle, right? Because the, the, the same content creator continues to, to just plague him. And it's, again, it's a huge, um, uh, rabbit hole. Uh, not really going to get too far into that, but, but it's, 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 Fascinating, but at the same time, just absolutely freaking terrible. So, anyway, a lot of things to cover tonight, um, and new projects that I'm, I'm working on. Some things I want to talk about a little bit today. Um, some surprising things that have been happening over 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 the course of the last few weeks. Uh, something, some really good stuff, some not so good stuff. Uh, uh, but yeah, lots of lots of lots of things. I'm feeling better. <laughs> How's that for a for a for for a, for an update? I'm feeling better because as as many of you know. Uh, I haven't been I haven't really been doing my live streams very frequently um, and infrequently. And um, all I can attribute it to is the fact that I'm getting old, man. <laughs> like these these white whiskers aren't just for show. These these things are real, um, unfortunately. And because of that, uh, you know, I, I'm susceptible. Uh, I, I guess my I don't know whether whether it's, it's my immunity system, my, my immunity system, my my um, you know my, my sleeping patterns, whatever, blah blah blah. Right, uh, it, it, a lot of it contributes to 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 what's been happening, but um, you know, I'm on the right plan now. Things are things are things are looking back up, and and you know, thanks for everybody who who messaged me and asked me if I'm okay. I really appreciate that, guys. Like, it really touches me whenever you guys reach out and like like Jay, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, it's just allergies. I, you know, that's what I thought it was, or you know, it's just uh, you know under the weather and blah blah blah. But it was a little bit. It was a little bit more than that, but. At the same time, it was nothing really to nothing, nothing to get too concerned about. But you know, at the end of the day, you'd, you'd like one one time you'd see me live stream, and all of a sudden, bah, blah, blah, and you know, things things would go off the, off the rails, and people were like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm just dying, <laughs> just slowly, slowly dying." But you know, of of something, I have no idea. But anyway, much better, feeling much better now. Thank you guys for all the well wishes. Um, yeah, man, lots lots of things to. Lots of things to be grateful for for, for this uh, this weekend, and of course, I'm going to go ahead and say this: Happy Easter, Happy Easter to those who celebrate it. Um, I hope you guys are hunting down those pesky little chocolate eggs. I hope you had some fun with the, with your family, uh, and of course, this whole weekend. Uh, I hope that everyone has a restful, relaxing weekend. Um, a lot of things uh, to do on, over the weekend. Obviously, a lot of shows, a lot of activities for kids and and uh, families and i hope you guys uh you know enjoy your time uh with everybody um a lot of things to be grateful for and a lot of things to be um to really reflect on 
uh, you know, to anybody out there who's suffering or, or um, you know, knows of anybody who's uh, in a situation where they can't get out of, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, my heart, my heart goes out to you. Um, anybody who knows anybody who's in a situation in a different, you know, part of the world that's really, really in trouble right now. You know, again, my 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 thoughts and, and prayers go out to everybody who's 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 experiencing that. If you have family or friends in those areas, you know, again, my heart goes out to you guys. Like it, this, this is a very strange time in our history. Um, you know, so many different things are happening. For no really good reason, honestly. And it's absolutely freaking terrible. And, you know, it needs to stop. It really does need to stop. And I, I hope that uh, all the conflict in the world starts to really, you know, you know, calm down. Because it's just the, the, the amount of uncertainty that's out there right now really makes you think. You know what I mean? And a lot of times it just hits too close to home. It's, it's We are now living in a, in a, in a, in a time where... Countries, even though they're even even though all countries are are different, you know, borders and everything like that, uh, the distance that 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 we live between each other, but it it the world is getting smaller, man. The world is getting so much smaller, right? Like people from other parts of the world are living in other parts of the world, right? We have neighbors, we have friends, we have uh, you know relatives, right? And they're all different ethnicities now. You know what I mean? Like it's no longer it's no longer as cut and dry. As you know, you're from this country, you know, great for you. No, I mean it's it's a multicultural type of world right now, right? And we all have to live in it. So you know, there's there's a there's a lot of that going around, and I and this, you know, this this Easter weekend, it really makes you think. It really makes you you know wonder uh, about a lot of things. So to anybody, anybody out there, right, who's uh, who has family, who has friends. Uh, who has relatives and loved ones, and you know they're in that situation. You know, my heart goes out to you. Um, I can't imagine. I can't imagine what you guys are throwing through. And I hope that you have the support system that you need to uh, to to get through that. Ha! Ah, a lot of things. A lot of things to consider uh, for this Easter weekend. But overall, overall, you know, we are blessed here in North America. Um, you know, to be a step away from that, right? And I want to wish everybody out there, if you celebrate it, a happy Easter, and uh, you know, you know, <laughs> hug your family, man. Just keep them close. You know, make sure that they know that you care because, you know, the, the as far apart as we were, right? It really hits home sometimes. But anyway. Let's say hi to the chat because, uh, you know, I really appreciate you guys uh, joining me so late at night because I, I know that <laughs> half of you guys are already asleep. Chris Allen, hey, what's going on, brother? How's it going, brother? Good to see you. Uh, Mythic Dolphin is in the house. Uh, hey, Retro J. I'm just kidding. Good to see you, Mythic Dolphin. Uh, Jay, please check out the questions on Flipboard I put on the Kickstarter page six hours ago. Any answers? Let's get Flipboard funded past 200K. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Mythic Dolphin. You are amazing. I will I will check on that comment. Uh, if somebody hasn't already uh, um, uh, answered it, you should check. Uh, Chris Allen, how about these new Masterverse reveals? I know, right? Some crazy stuff is going on, and I'm super excited. I really am. Frankie Rivera, let's go. Let's go, Frankie. We're here, brother. We're here. Hyperdelic, what's up? What's up, Jay? What's going on? Hyperdelic, how are you doing tonight? Mr. Vice, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Happy Easter, mate. Happy Easter to you, too, Mr. Vice. Good to see you, brother. Uh, Nolan's in the house. Always good to see Nolan. How's he, how, how are you doing, brother? Always good to see you. Uh, Ty David Hanger. Mike is in the house. Just added stealth flip war. Mike, you are the best, brother. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Huge supporter of the channel. And of course, guys, if you haven't already, check out Ty David Hanger on, on YouTube. Uh, he's got this new thing going. It's a, um, I guess it's financial advice, something like that. I'm not really sure 100% what it is, but Mike, uh, you know, let us know what your what your new channel is about. We'd love to direct people your way because, again, every I think everyone now could use some financial advice. I mean, I could use some financial advice. So, guys, definitely uh, check out Tidarium Hanger on on YouTube. You won't regret it. Uh, Frankie Rivera, happy Easter weekend, everybody. Yes, thank you so much, Frankie. Good, uh, happy Easter to you too. The Deadheads, piss tank shirt, please. Oh my gosh, yes, <laughs> a piss tank T shirt would be awesome. But I believe we have to consult. Uh, Mr. Jonathan uh, Nostalgia. 
Johnny Nostalgia there. Uh, I believe he has something to do with that. So great stuff. Hyperdelic, again, good to see you. Uh, my buddy's customs. Hey, Jay and everybody, smash that like button or you're on your cyclones will be lost in the mail. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Always good to see you, buddy in the in the chat. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, definitely check out my buddy's customs on YouTube. Does some amazing custom work. Uh, good to see you, Nolan. Uh, Natural Night Marvel. Not my, I'm doing well, my friend. How about you? Slam Bus Rodan. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, it is a very good morning, my friend. Uh, Andrew Davis. Racers, start your engines. Oh boy. Yeah, we are we are we are running towards the finish line now, brother. We are running towards the finish line. Walter Mintier. Jay, hope you're feeling well. Long time, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much for for always checking up on me. I really appreciate it. Um uh, I heard there was a problem with the early bird special. Uh, problem with the early bird special? I don't understand. What do you mean? What what uh, what problem are you talking about? I don't understand. Uh, we're we are monitoring the early bird special. Anyone who ordered within the time frame of early bird, uh, will get the early bird. Uh, flip the birds. I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, can you can you elaborate on that, Walter? I don't know. I don't know what you mean by that. That seems to be a, an interesting comment. Um, if you're hearing anything about the uh, early bird special from anybody else, don't believe it. All early bird. All early bird um, uh, orders, we will honor them. As long as you made it within the early bird uh, window, you don't have to worry about that. We, we're keeping track of everybody's orders. So even if you update your orders, here's something as well. Even if you update your orders, we still have track of your original order date. So you don't have to worry about that. So feel free to update your orders whenever you want. That's not a problem. Um, uh, Slam Brothers Dan. Uh, this, it, this is a rough time for my wallet. Mattel puts out these figures from Motu Origins and Turtles of Grayskull for my son. And then, boom, NECA puts out a TMNT cartoon, 87 figures at the same time. It's crazy. It's crazy. It really is a crazy time to be a, 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 an action figure collector. It's just nuts. I feel you, brother. I feel you. John Smith, I fell in a piss tank once. <laughs> Did you know? Did you know? what? <laughs> were you working that day? Or were you just pissed as drunk? Oh, my gosh. John, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> you didn't need to, but thank you for sharing that. That was that was, that was, that was, that was crazy. That was crazy. Um, Frank Rivera. I ordered one of each. Go, stealth, gold, flipboard bundle, and a flaker, and a flaker bundle. Dude, dude, you are you are awesome, my friend. Thank you, Frankie. Uh, you know, uh, um, rocking that flip life, my friend. Rocking that flip, flip life and a regular, but she's the least. Frankie. Bro, you are just you are just awesome. Oh my god, just crazy. You're excited about Tila. I'm excited about Tila. I am excited about Tila. Nolan also has the regular flip bar and Lord of Lark flip bar on order. Thank you, Nolan. Thank you, Nolan. You are you again are 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 awesome. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, thank God for payment plans. I know, right? Uh, I I need that deluxe Tila. I really do. I, I'm I'm gonna need that one for sure. Chad Stewart forgot forgot Scare Globe. No. Uh, that you know what Scareglow was good. I just don't collect jumbo figures. You know what I mean? Like that's that's the thing. Uh, I, I have no jumbo figures in my collection, so I couldn't I couldn't pull the trigger on on Scareglow, even though he looked awesome. He looked freaking awesome. Uh, Ashman fifty five. Uh, I had no line. Great, thanks. Getting ready to hit a small local toy show here in Tucson in the morning. Excellent. I hope uh, I hope you have fun, Ashman. Uh, Chad Stewart. Hope Evelyn would be next. Yes. Evelyn is a must have another must have character 100%. Um, Neil Hunter hides in the house. What's going on? Good to see you, brother. Uh, John Smith starts to be right for trying to take the pay. <laughs> see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Uh, to, to TMI, brother. TMI, TMI. Um, let's see here. Todd C. Uh, when is Extender going up for sale? That is a good question. You know, he's been contraband, contraband's been floating everywhere. You know, um, I think Mr. Home Arcade. Did a whole review on 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 Extendar, uh, and and <laughs> I, th I think he bought a bunch of them because uh, he, he had. Whew, that's just crazy how many how many he had. Uh, it was pretty. It's 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 pretty nuts. I don't know how he does it. You know, he just he just like waves his hand. And he he I don't I don't know how he comes up with these these action figures. Chan Stewart, Frank, remember I actually passed on Oracle Scare Glow, but I will order Tila. Yeah, you know what? Um, as I said, Scare, Scare Glow was a bit of a plus minus, right? Uh, uh, Orko. Orko is, is is definitely another you know what side of the fence uh, you know are you on are you on are you on Master Universe are you on Filmation yeah it it, it can be it can be tough it can be very very tough oh, pardon me guys Frankie I'm so happy for you Jay this is all the beginning uh, and we got your back stay blessed thank you so much Frankie Frankie you're awesome you're awesome brother 
You're just awesome. I'm in a Jabru. Hey, what's going on, Seth? So all the way from South Africa. Good to see you, brother. Always great to see you. Uh, Tardim Hanger. Jugman stood up for Scott. Yeah, Jugman's awesome. I don't know why people have, have a problem with Jugman. I, I, I don't want Jugman. I've, I've, I've done collaborations with Jugman. He seems like a, he seems like a pretty decent guy. I don't know. I, I, I really don't understand why people have a problem with Jugman. I, I think he's like he's actually pretty cool. I, I have no idea why why people have a problem with him. What's going on, Yo Joe C? Always good to see you, brother. Uh, Healing Dreads in the house. The Snake Man releases have gone and um, gotten more and more detail this time going on. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. They look amazing. They look absolutely, absolutely thrilling. Um, I'm super excited for the for the for the new Snake Man line. Uh, Neil Hunt and Hyde. Scott actually did a pretty decent interview on Clownfish podcast. Sweet. Uh, who's Clownfish? I'm just kidding. I know who I know who Clownfish is now. I know who they are now. Um, and uh, I'm glad. I'm glad that um, Scott was able to get uh, some uh, some time with them. Uh, because uh, they have a wide, they have a very wide reach. Uh, I know that, and um, yeah, they're. Uh, I think that it, it that actually fits in uh, with with Scott, uh, especially be, uh, under the circumstances. Because what happened to Scott is terrible. Like that should never have happened. It it really should it really should never have happened. That's a uh, that's actually a really terrible thing that happened to Scott. I mean, one hundred percent. Um, uh, Timbo for Limbo. He wasn't one hundred percent wrong, in my opinion. No, I don't. I don't believe so either. You know, he 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 got a lot of things right. You know, as always. I mean, he has an insight into the industry that that we don't have, and that that you know that's something that has to be respected. Uh, John Smith, uh, guilty until proven innocent. The real justice system uh, for the poor. Um, yes, exactly, exactly, John, exactly. Though know, I, I, it took me a second. That, uh, I was like, because uh, I was I was trying to remember again. I was like, yeah, it is innocent until proven. Yeah. One hundred percent. I totally, I totally, I totally uh, understand. Uh, Scott uh, Neil Hunter Hyde. Scott can be a little prickly. It isn't always correct or current, but I think he's a decent guy. I don't think he's out there with ill intent. At the end of the day, he's a fan. I, I agree. I agree. And you, no matter which way you cut it, guys. If if it wasn't for Scott Knightlake and his efforts, and the efforts of a lot of people at Mattel, uh, we would not have Motu the way we do today for classics and for for the for the direction that uh, that happened. So yeah, definitely. I I, I I'm I'm. I'm 100 on board that Scott should not have gone through all that crap and still going through that crap. Uh, R RGP, uh, uh, Timo from Limbo, absolutely true. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Ashman55, I'm sorry, but Mattel lost me since they cannot distribute any of their product right. Uh, they, <laughs> you know, there's not, there's, <laughs> I would like to say something, but it's hard to argue that point. <laughs> it really is. It is actually really hard to argue that point. Uh, I'm sorry that uh, that uh, that you know, but you know that's going to happen. They 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 will lose your respect. On, on, uh, you know if they don't if they don't clean that up a little bit. Have not seen any new Motu since Catcher Wave. Not even one figure at retail in the second largest city in Arizona. Wow, the distribution for a Motu has just been absolutely horrendous. It really has been just absolutely stupid, ridiculous. Walter Matier, what's going on, brother? Happy Easter to you too. One hundred percent. I love it. John Smith, happy chocolate day. That's right. Happy chocolate day. Um, uh, Neil, Jay, I'm so glad you're feeling improved and that your doctor, uh, who's getting things on track, you definitely sound improved. Uh, you know what? It was actually advice from some good friends. Uh, doctors, as much as I enjoy going to doctors, um, you know, they got me to a certain point, but, uh, you know, I was getting worried for a while. But yeah, a couple of friends just gave me some advice and, I took it, and you know, and I was I was very surprised and very happy that uh, that everything everything uh, worked out the way it did, and I'm I'm happy that I'm on I'm on the mend, man. I'm on the mend. Thank you, thank you, Neil. Uh, Jeff Morris, what's going on, brother? How are you doing tonight? Always good. Uh, we need love, yes, one hundred percent, Neil. We need love. Um, King Panther, what's going on, Noel? Mister J, did you know that you are an amazing person? <laughs> I mean, you know what? I I I I I I've 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 never been told that. Uh, <laughs> And thank you, Noel. I appreciate that. Uh, and the Easter Bunny was the latest fantasy. I think I believed as a kid. Uh, the last fantasy. I think I believed as a kiddo. Santa the Tooth Fairy and Frosty the Snowman were debunked first. That's that's unfortunate. I would have hoped that Santa would have been the last one to be debunked. Uh, night one. Uh, doing late night laundry and Sonic J is on. Good to see you, night one. Always good. Thank, always great to see night one in the in the chat. Thank you, my brother. Uh, Chris Allen. Really looking forward to getting that Thunder, Thunder Punch He-Man. He does look good, doesn't he? He's got a brand new head, right? I'm still... 
a little disappointed in the chest. I know people are like, ah, that's not realistic. But you know what? Those, the, the, those, those, that's what I remember from Master Universe, you know, big, burly, big chested, you know, uh, um, figures. You know, that's, I don't know. That's just my, that's, the, that's me. That's just me. Um, and you know what? The, the, the Revelation cartoon, man, and the Revolution cartoon, he's freaking huge. He's freaking huge, man. Um, Ash 55, everyone needs to keep backing a walk. My epic needs all, uh, my epic all in needs more unlocks, please. Uh, yeah, guys, definitely, uh, you know, support Jason and the, the, a the, the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom team. They're working really hard. Their Kickstarter is probably going to end another, I think it's 15 days. Somebody can remind me in the, in the comments. And yeah, they really need, they're trying to get to uh, 400,000. So I know it's a big ask, but they can do it, man. They can do it. They're they're kicking ass right now. It's crazy. Uh, Mr. Vice, it's just about to 1 p uh, 7 p.m. Saturday evening in New Zealand. It's a perfect timing for us fans down here. Uh, th th that's that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad you guys are, are still, uh, well, I guess up is not the word, but I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Thank you so much, Mr. Vice. Always good to see you, brother. Ah, ha, ha, look at this. Brick something. Happy Balut. Yes. <laughs> Happy Egg Day. Happy Egg Day to everybody. Good to see you, Brick. Uh, good to see you, my friend. Uh, Walter Matier. Dude, glad to see you're feeling better. Thank you, my friend. Always good. Always feeling much better now. Much better. Sorry, I hit the, hit the mic again. Toy binging. I came back from WonderCon. The Jack Specific panel was fun, and they gave us free toys. Yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. I love it. I love it. That's cool. Oh, those bunnies. Oh, those bunnies. Hey, look at this. It's Jeffrey Lyles. What's going on, Lyle? What's going on, Jeff? Uh, what up, man? Can't hang tonight, but loving the Motu coverage is always from you. We got to collab soon. Jeff, just hit me up, man, anytime. You know, you know you're always welcome. Guys, if you haven't already, check out Lyle's Figure Files. Uh, one of the like awesome insights into uh, Marvel Super, Ma uh, Marvel figures, DC figures, and of course everything else under the sun. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome channel. Definitely check out Lyle's Figure File, guys. Um, crackers don't matter. What's going on, dude? CDM, brother. <laughs> that is that's always gonna give an eyebrow raise, no matter mm, no matter what you do. People are just gonna go. Mm, what are you talking? About? What are you talking about, right? This is the, they're just going to do one of those, but <laughs> CDM. I'm going to call it CDM. Maybe you should just change your, your handle to CDM. Toy Bounty Hunter, what's going on, my friend? How are you doing tonight? Uh, Walter Matier, early bird, my buddy said we were going to have to email Matt Hatter to check. Um, uh, to check? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't look into it, but I just wanted to check. Thanks so much for the clarity. Yeah, no, we 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 have everything in control. Uh, any, any Any concerns about... Uh, early birds, let us know because we we have everybody uh, by by order date, so you don't have to worry about that. It's all good. Uh, Walter Matier, oh Jay, can we count flip on Flipboard Brothers Hustlor? <laughs> Hustlor. Uh, th there's a lot of plans going forward. You know, a lot of things that are happening. Um, the mad genius behind it is, of course, a Mad Hatter. So you know, uh, I cannot confirm or deny if there are any additional figures on the way. Uh, but the lore. The lore of the champions of Neferity uh, will continue, my friend. Like uh, that, that is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Neil Hunter, hi. I'm not collecting the Turtles of Grayskin line. I can't afford it. Plus, uh, it was too little. It, uh, it it was little bros line. But I'm still pumped for how awesome they look and the opportunity to Motu for the Motu bread. Yes, absolutely, 100. I'm I'm totally in your headspace right now, Neil. That's awesome. Uh, toy, bon toy bounty hunter deliveries were insane this week. Had some uh, arrive er er every day this past. Wow, that's crazy! Congratulations, dude. That's so awesome. Um, I think Walter. I think had said on the stream that they were unsure about it after adding something to their pledge. They could message Toy Stalker or someone to confirm. Yes, you can mention. Uh, you you can message Toy Stalker. You can me uh, you can message me. You can ma message Hatter, but please don't. He's like literally inundated with just absolute crazy questions right now. Um. <clears throat> So, dear Hanger, I like Scott. I like Junkman. And I'm also a Patreon for Retro Blasting. We can all get on. Correct. Correct. There's no reason to fight. There's no reason to have any, any you know, drama. Like, I I, I like Michael. I like Michael. You know, I, I like, we're, we're, we can all be, we can all be civil. <laughs> we can all be civil to each other, at the very least. We can all be civil. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Frankie, of course, is in the house. Good to see Frankie. Uh, anybody else we haven't said hi to yet? Um, good, uh, good, 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 good. Uh, uh, break something. Good stuff. Uh, Teddy Hanger. No cartoon Motu in any stores around here. Just crazy. That is just that is just so wrong. Their distribution is still has not. You know, it, it's 
Terrible. Freaking terrible. Absolutely terrible. Neil Hart Hyde, all that Motu has today is built for the shoulders of, is built in the shoulders of Scott Toyguru and Val Staples and a few others. Correct. Correct. Now, again, there were a lot of people involved. Scott, Scott can't do this alone. There's sculptors involved, the four horsemen, right? There, there, there are distributors, there are salespeople, there are so many different things that, that happen along the way, right? Um, no, I, I, yeah, the four horsemen. Exactly, the four horsemen. Andrew Davis, Jay. Convince Hatter to come to Joe Fest. I, <laughs> it's a bit out of his way, Andrew. It's a bit out of his way. I, I'll, I'll, I'll suggest it to him. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to convince the guy. <laughs> uh, Todd C, you deserve everything that uh, that good that comes your way, Jay. Hope there's more to come. Thank you, Todd. I appreciate that. You're awesome, brother. Happy Easter to you too. If you if you uh, celebrate it, uh, Melvin Van de Graaff. Uh, Thunder Punch He Man looks like a crackhead. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Love your channel, man. Thank you, Melvin. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's a crackhead. I don't. I don't say no because again, his head sculpt I think is based off of Faker. So yeah, kind of a little, little so a bunch of things going on there. I don't know exactly. I I don't know why the decision was made to do that, but whatever, man. Um, save some money, I guess. I I don't know. Uh, just kind of. <laughs> uh, a brick reminds us that 18 days to go on a walk. Uh, 214,142. Congratulations to the AWOC team, the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom team. Guys, definitely check out Animal Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. And huge thanks to Brick Something. Uh, always a, a mega, mega fan, mega fan, but now involved uh, to, to a certain degree. Uh, yeah, definitely check out Brick Something on Instagram, uh, on, on YouTube as well, guys. I forgot to mention that. Danny Rodriguez, what's going on, my friend? Happy Friday to you, too. Happy Easter if you celebrate it, my friend. Toy Binging. Uh, is it okay if I get a channel shout out? Uh, I try to interview toy producers. There you go. Well, okay, guys, check out toy binging. Check out check out toy binging on YouTube. He interviews toy producers, which is awesome. That is freaking awesome. You know, uh, I guess we're toy producers now. Why not, right? <laughs> but anyway, great, this is great, 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 uh, great. Of course, happy to shout out any channels, guys. If you want your channel shouted out, just tell me. I would, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely, uh, 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 you know, love to shout everybody out. Uh, yeah, dude, like that's the, I don't know what it is about that, but that seems to be a thing, right? So, so yeah, maybe you should just do C, CDM. Just leave it like that. CDM. Uh, no, I, 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 apparently that, I know, I know you are, <laughs> but that's not the problem, right? The pro the problem is that it just, okay. So apparently crackers don't matter is a, is, is something out of Farscape. Uh, if I'm, if I'm saying that correctly, right? It was just it was a it was a um it was an episode, a very, a very interesting episode in Farscape. And that was like one of the one of the things, right? So I know that it, it it's 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 um it's an innocent phrase, but the problem is the connotation itself lends its lends itself to misunderstanding. I think I think I think that's that's really what it, I, I I raised my eyebrow. As as I said, I, I was like oh, I was like, uh, okay. You know, I, I didn't, I don't judge, but it, it did kind of like take me aback. So, and I know the problem is that you registered that as your, as your company name. And that's, that's, that's tough. That's tough. Man. <laughs> that is tough. Um, Tardin Manger, I watched Matt Hatter's commercial three times. Yeah. You know what? Let, uh, we're going to take a look at that right now, actually, right after I finish. I'm, I'm almost at the end of the, uh, uh, like saying hi to everybody, but yeah, we're definitely going to take a look at that. That it was, it was hilarious. I, I was I was laughing my ass off. It was crazy. Uh, Toy Bounty Hunter Jay, I got the Figma Bio Booster armor. Oh, good, good one. It's amazing. Hope you can get a chance to get. Dude, that is a great figure. Oh my god, that is a great figure. I love I love Guyver. I really love Guyver. Um, Rustic Island. Happy Easter to you too, my friend. Great to see you. Um, happy Easter again to everybody who celebrates it. Thank you, Rustic Island. Um, uh, Titanium Hanger. That commercial was a hoot. Did you see Mr. Home Arcade's Extendar video all the way? <laughs> Extendar. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, Extendar. Extending himself as far as he will go. Uh, John Smith. I was going to collect Cartoon Mode 2, but I can't get it except for the stupid prices online. I know. It's crazy. But I, you have to get Cringer. You have to get Cringer, John. You have to get Cringer. If anything, you got to get Cringer. Um, Thanos. Go pledge your epic all-ins. That's right. Pledge, pledge, pledge. If you can. <laughs> um, hmm. uh, Mike, 
Mr. Hallmark Kid is a hoot. I need to see that. Yes. Go. Watch. Go, go, go. Later. <laughs> no chewing. What's up, no chewing? Always good to see no chewing in the chat. Thank you, my friend, for being here tonight. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, check out no chewing on Instagram. Uh, great photo- a great toy photographer. Um, uh, crackers don't matter. Correct. Reference from the arguably best episode ever. Well, there you go. Uh, people think I hate Wave. No, it's it, but that's the problem, right? <laughs> it's so... It's it's again. It's gonna raise those eyebrows. It's just gonna raise those eyebrows. Uh, Crazed Ivan. Hey Jay, working on some Flipboard fan art. Was wondering where's the best place to send it to you. Uh, would be when it's done. You can always send me uh, on IG, but if you want to send a high resolution version, uh, please send it to um, damn. Uh, uh, shoot, it's the the email is. Um, no, you know what? It is probably best just send it to us on e- on, on on IG. Uh, and if we need the high resolution uh, version, so we can show it somewhere else, uh, we we you, we we'll we'll just ask for your email address. So um, crazy, crazy Ivan, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Looking forward to your your wonderful artwork. Um, Frank Rivera, uh, that was she first thing when I saw Cyclone. Oh, okay. Um, James Morrison, a late night Friday live stream always put a smile on my face. Thanks, Jay. No worries, James. Always good to see you, brother. Um, Attorney Ellipse, what's going on, guys? If you haven't already, check out Attorney Ellipse on on YouTube. Wonderful YouTuber, once again. Um, Walter Mentier, got to go. Uh, huge tattoo to do later. Uh, stay safe, everybody. Have, uh, as always, good journey. Jay, please stay well. Thank you for being you. Good night. Good, thank you for being you, Walter. Thank you so much. And uh, take care. Obviously, whoever your client is is going to be happy in the morning, I guess. Or they're going to faint. So <laughs> get, tell them to bring some cookies, man. Tell them to bring some cookies. Uh, oh, crap, Frankie. That's a great idea. Red Tornado looks great, too. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Neil Hunter, hi. John Smith, you're having trouble getting cartoon collection? Where are you located? It's hard. It's a hard thing everywhere. It's a hard thing everywhere. Um, everyone's saying hi to each other. Dan Rodriguez, uh, do you think Master, Masterverse Skeletor and with Havoc Throne is a must? <clears throat> I think it's very important, uh, a very important addition. Um, I'm not sure if it's a must because I already have a bone throne <laughs> over here, uh, literally with with my with my snake mountain. So for me, it's not it's not as important as some people, but it's giving me hope that maybe a a masterverse snake mountain might be in the works somewhere. You know that that's that that's a consideration anyway. Um, <clears throat> Nolan, oh, everyone's talking to each other. Uh, Neil Hunter Hyde, I don't know if it's a must, but definitely a ought to. Uh, I know I would regret it if I do. I said, there you go. Neil Neil Neil, Neil actually has a really good point. Neil has a really good point. Um, all right, so guys, let's let's take a look at this. Uh, this um, <coughs> for those of you who haven't seen it yet, let's take a look at this uh, <laughs> this commercial because I gotta tell you, I was I was rolling on the floor laughing. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. Um, and it, it really hey, Billy, did. what are you doing? Smile on my face. Let's uh, let's have a look at this crazy commercial right here. All right, let's let's have a look at this, guys. This, this is gonna be fun. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave my face alone. Okay, here we go, guys. Check this out. Hey, Billy, what are you doing? My adventurers are about to raid the dark castle to retrieve the enchanted golden idol. Hey, the idol is gone. That's because I got here first. <laughs> Who are you? It is I, Flipboard. <laughs> Flipboard. Yep, and you'll pay triple the price if you want to see that golden idol again. Triple? We don't have that kind of gold. Make me an offer. I don't know. Double? Oh man, I wish I could, but uh, I got overhead, gas price of food went up, economy's just in a shitter, you know how it is. But you didn't do anything to get that, you just got here a few minutes before us. Well, I guess I did do something then. <laughs> Forget it, we'll find some other treasure, like the great hammer of the wolf. I got that too. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can combine shipping if you want. This sucks, Enchantress. You called? Why would you let him take all that stuff? He got here when we opened. Well, couldn't you limit it then? Like, maybe one per person? I have many other things to do, you know? Hey, do you want these things or not? I got other buyers interested. How about you find a real job? Looks to me like I got one. That's it. I'm gonna take you down with my dragon mace. You mean this one? Hey, you thief. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got it in a lot sale with some other stuff. From who? Uh, username was, uh, uh Duncan on Fools. <laughs> Duncan? I'm sorry, warrior. I have a drug problem. So what's it gonna be, adventure? Are we doing this or not? I think I'm done playing for the day. You ruin everything, Flipboard. 
Hey, what can I say? It's a free market. He's got you there, Billy. He's got you there. <laughs> 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 Flipboard comes with everything seen here. This Flipboard is just a prototype. Support the Kickstarter today and become a champion of nefarity from Hatter Toys. Collect them all. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't make a commercial from champions of fairy that talk about me, Flaker. It's my Flipboard. the only badass in the land. I'm coming for you, Flipboard. You think you can build me and abandon me? Hell no. What? Orange and blue, I'm gonna kill you. My name is Flaker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that that was pure. That was pure freaking genius, man. That was that was pure, absolutely pure genius. Uh, I think the reverb effect or whatever effect they were using at the end, uh, you know, Haddock should have toned that down a bit i mean it was it was a bit hard to understand but it, uh, i think what 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 they, what what he was trying to say at the end was that you know you can't just build me and leave me uh you know and and abandon me and blah 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 you know uh, i'm gonna get you uh flip or uh, you know i'm i'm uh, i'm flaker right i think that's what, i think that's what it was like it was hard to it was hard to make out but a couple of watches over and over again watch that over and over again guys just keep watching it because that, that that was that was a great commercial a uh, huge shout out to to Matt Hatter for that one. That was that was just that was just crazy. That was an amazing commercial. I love the effects that they used on it. The um, the VHS effect, you know what I mean? The 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 crazy lines, all the tracking lines and stuff like that. So much fun. Uh, you know the lower resolution. Like my hats off to, to Hatter. He's always always able to make these these crazy crazy um, just parodies and and and, and commercials. It's, it's just just absolutely awesome. Um, Thanos Copter. <laughs> Hatter's got that sweet doom hammer. Yes, he does. He does indeed. Frankie the hair. <laughs> I know, right? He's got this. I don't know where he got that from. Man. I have no idea where he got that from. Nolan is rolling around. Uh Brick it says so good. Yes, it was it was just freaking freaking crazy. Uh Thanos is laughing. Uh of course he's laughing. Um this is freaking awesome. It is. It was it was a total laugh riot, man. Laugh riot. Uh, Thanos Copter, well done. Yes, 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 yes. Neil Hunter Hyde, when the Empress briefly came back, I laughed at the end and I lost it. I know, right? Just, <laughs> it was such a really great moment. I love it. Uh, great commercial, yeah. Um, he he combines shipping. I know, right? He combines shipping for, for, for multiple items. For multiple items that he already got. <laughs> uh, Timber from Limbo, Duncan on Fools, classic. <laughs> What a great handle. <laughs> Again, where does he come up with this stuff? Where does he come up with this stuff? Justin Mohan, what's going on, brother? Always good to see Justin in the chat. Uh, CMD, CDM, CDM. Uh, that was absurd and amazing. Yeah, it was. It really was. Oh, my God. Such a fun commercial, guys. Such a fun commercial. I loved it. Um, so, you know, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about, about uh, um, <clears throat> what's going on with Motu, man. Motu. Man, Motu, Motu's all over the place right now. Motu is like is is everywhere. Um, I if you guys haven't already, I do have uh, a lot of a lot of the sorry, what am I talking about? Uh, almost all of the figures went up on Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store. Um, and thank you guys for using the affiliate links. Um, they they really do help the channel. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was pretty amazing. How many figures showed up at Entertainment Earth this week? Uh, freaking crazy! Like just the drops alone were just absolutely uh, out of this world. First of all, secondly, it's just amazing uh, how many of them went up for pre-order on a day where nobody was expecting any pre-orders. Like there was no indication that that anything was going to happen. It just like sort of just like blah, it just they just dropped it on us like a sack of potatoes. It was it was crazy. Um, we were just uh, we were just talking to you, Neil and. And uh, and and uh, I can't remember who it was, but sorry guys. Uh, we were just talking about this: the Alcala Havoc Throne uh, with Skeletor. Man, this thing's gorgeous. This thing is freaking gorgeous. And of course, look at that Alcala head sculpt. Man, it's just a thing of beauty. Um, I do have to say though, it, it's it's a bit tall. Uh, <laughs> it's actually freaking huge. 
Um, but you compare that to like, you know, I might as well grab it just for a comparison. I mean, like, you know, we'll we'll, we'll do this. Uh, I'll show this off in a second, but but yeah, this one I, this one takes center stage right now because honestly, this thing's beautiful. Um, so many things about this are just are just like. First of all, the Alcala head sculpt. I, I'm I'm gonna start with that. The Alcala head sculpt is is just absolutely bonkers. You know what I mean? Um, I'm so impressed with 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 what they've been able to do with with this. Um, what the heck? I'm, I'm amazed at what they've done with this uh, with this with this head sculpt. It just looks absolutely mind blowing. Ah, come here. Like that is if 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 I if if I haven't seen anything and uh, like this isn't sorry. If I had never gotten another Skeletor. This is one I would definitely like to get. His facial sculpt is just haunting, exactly like Alcala's. The two red little eyes that uh, that that Al Alcala actually put into the original uh, com mini comic, beautiful. And he's got these little details here, like the like the golden heraldry on his bone um, insignia, just like just beautiful. And then it carries over to the um, um, you know to his sash as well as his shin pads, like just bringing it all together. It's it's just gorgeous. Um, what's really impressing me too is got to be that that furry soft goods, uh, you know, throne um, cushion. That thing's freaking crazy. Uh, I was gonna say that I do have, as I said earlier, I, I do have the original, the um, the classics edition, right? I do have the classics edition, and because I don't have the classics, I do have the bone throne, right? I actually do have it. Um, and you look, you look at them side by side. It's pretty amazing. Uh, all the cues are all the cues are there. You know what I mean? The the head of whatever beast that is that that it came off of, um, the bone rack. You know, it's not nearly. It's th this one. It is hard to beat the four horsemen, man. <laughs> the four horsemen, they know what the hell they're doing. So so yeah, it's it's hard to beat them, man. <laughs> like look at this thing. Wow, that's that's that is a filmation bone thrown if I've ever seen one, right? Uh, but all the other cues are there. The, the see the spikes on the sides, you know that that's that's also there, and not to be outdone, that furry seat, you know, I don't know if it's lambskin or or whatever creature that is. There it is, right? So it's all now it's not soft goods, but I mean, this is one bad like no matter which way you cut it, this is a badass throne. You know what I mean? That is one badass freaking throne. That's just freaking crazy. And look, those little those little um centipede heads or whatever, they're they're in the newer version as well. So no matter which way you cut it, both uh I, sorry, I hit the mic. But yeah, they both look freaking equally, equally impressive, no matter what no matter which way you uh you look at it. Just absolutely, absolutely impressive. Beautiful. Um, but this one takes it a step further. At least we think it takes it a step further. Um Got to double check on whether or not it is what I think it is. So you can see those two heads that I was talking about right there, right? But this one really does take it uh, another another step in the right direction um, because it's got LED or, or what what appears to be anyway LED lights, right? They can change from red to green, right? I mean that that's just what a wonderful illumination, like just crazy. I love it. Um, and of course, as I as I mentioned earlier, this is this is definitely an Alcala um, inspired design. I mean, look look at this guy; he's freaking haunting. And I love the new mantle that they've actually the the you know the shoulder um, mantle that they 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 put on him with the um, with the with the soft goods cape. Just crazy, just nuts. And you can see that this this version with the um, uh, has has more uh, detail. They've actually put a wash. On the uh, on the bone throne itself, great stuff, just beautiful stuff. I'm really I'm really I'm really enjoying this um, and being able to to see more. Man, that's a face. Whew. that'll that'll haunt your dreams, man. That'll haunt your dreams. And and um, adding to that, adding to that effect, it's actually a uh, uh, the mandible moves. It's a mo it it actually opens up and down. Look at that. That's crazy. That 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 is some attention to detail right there. That is crazy. I wasn't expecting that at all. That really brings this. That that really dials this up to eleven. 
You know what I mean? It's 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 absolutely crazy. Um, I want to I want to find out. Maybe in the description we'll find out exactly uh, if this has LED. Let's see, LED uh, light. Ah, ah, here we check that. Out, check it out. Check it out. There it is. Um, Skeletor and his, and his fi uh, Flemation man. Somebody's got to check that spelling. Uh, Filmation inspired Bone Throne with light up scones. Uh, uh, sconces. Sconces? Light up sconces. I don't know what sconces are. I've never heard of sconces. But anyway, light up sconces. There you go. They are light up, right? They are light up. Uh, sconces on the throne light uh, light up with evil intensity. Wow. Wow. It's 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 always a <clears throat> pardon me guys. It's it's always a hard thing to to narrow down. Um, you know when it really when it really finally gets uh, revealed. You know what what uh, what is what is um. Because Photoshop can do so much these days, right? So it's always hard to 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 really narrow down whether or not something is actually um, what we think it is. But I'm I'm glad I'm glad that they that they were able to clarify here that the lights do actually uh, illuminate. That is that is always so much fun. So great. Uh, I don't know if it's a must have. It uh, for some people it will be, uh, but I, I do agree with Neil. Uh, it is a it is a ought to have yeah, for sure, one hundred percent. You ought to have this. That is that is that a really good analogy right there. Uh, another standout of the crowd um, uh, is definitely some of the some of the other newcomers, uh, but the ones that you really gotta 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 be very excited for uh, in terms of origins and masterverse. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my personal favorites right now, and and we're, we're, we'll 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 discuss. But um, let's just, let's stick with uh, with masterverse for now. Um, Thunder Punch He-Man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. I, 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 as much as I, I do appreciate that head sculpt, um, there's something, there's something about it. <laughs> there is definitely something about that head sculpt, which, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a much better head sculpt than some of the ones that have come before. I, 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 I acknowledge that 100%. But I think that something's going on with the cheekbones. I think that's really where it's throwing me off. I think the cheap bones and how high they are, that seems to be something of a bit of a a misnomer for me. But and this was this this is the key. It looks like they've done their best to try and fix that, right? Because uh, you know, um oh come on. Yeah, this is this is interesting. Because when you see him here with these more um uh solicitation photos, I think this they got a lot closer. Right, I don't know what they did because there there was something something was going on behind the scenes because the cheekbones don't look nearly as bad as they did in the first prototype version, right? The the paint master, if you will. I think this one, which is a production master, a, a production figure, I think this one is more um, um, indicative of what we're what we're going to see, and I I really appreciate that because this one this guy looks a hell of a lot better than uh, than the than the previous uh, pictures uh, were portraying. So yeah, if we get this guy into the collection. And look at look at the detail in that in the in the in the hair, it's beautiful. Uh, you know, the, I love that wash. Um, yeah, man, I, I could live with this guy. I could live with this guy. Not literally. I mean, like, well, I guess literally. I've become, if I'm buy him, it's going to be living in my house. But, but yeah, no, no, definitely. He was. He's more representative than this. There, there's something going on here which I don't like. I don't like that. That I don't like. This one, yeah, I can get on board with this guy. I can definitely get on board with this he man. There's some there's there's something about this dude that I like, right? And of course, you know, let's talk about the rest of those. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's not all about the face, guys. It's not all about the face. But I do love the uh, the power punch, the thunder punch uh, armor. Uh, very indicative of the original um, sculpt. The uh, the power punch effects as well. Very very nice. Uh, I do love the re the, the sword which is lifted off of the 40th anniversary He Man sword. Beautiful. Um, again. I think something else is going on here because he looks way better in these photos than 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 he does in these these photos. Something's going on with this. Uh, I am not as impressed with this as I am with this. This one looks really nice. Um, the, uh, you know what, guys? Tell me what you th what your thoughts are. Does does this seem appropriate to you? Like, should they have even bothered with the with the uh, with the blasting cap um, accessory? I mean, I, I'm, 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 I'm rather certain it doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> I am, 
I, I am going to hazard a guess and say that it does nothing, right? And by that, by that virtue, uh, was it necessary? Because I, I think I would have been just happy with this. You know, all things considered, I think I think I would have been happy with just this. I don't know. But having said that, does that dial does that dial turn? Ha! Huh, look at that. Look at that. It turns. That dial does turn. What do you think, guys? Is is there is are those real blasting caps? I don't think so. I don't think so, but it, it does turn. I can see the dial. The dial is a different plastic from the uh from the other plastic. I always love it when you just see this weird little screw holding everything together. That kills me. Yeah, man. I'm uh I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited for this guy. Uh 100 percent Yeah, that turns. That dial turns. Let's let's look at the real let's look at the write-up. Maybe it'll give us some clues. Uh the Masterverse Uni the Master Universe Edition action uh figure also comes with a full array of, ex of characters from Hero of the Villains. The Star Punch He-Man continues a high-level detail collectors have come to expect. At seven-inch scale, the Master of the Universe, Masterverse New Attorney of Thunder, blah, 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 blah. And this electrifying action figure to the tells me absolutely nothing. So unfortunately, that that was useless. So anyway. Anyway. Still very exciting. Still very exciting. Um, uh, Princess Power Leech. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Um, it's not exactly Leech. You know what I mean? It's it's got it's got all of Leech, all the cues for Leech. There is something about the body. It's a bit slender, more slender than what I would have preferred. But I love the head sculpt. The head sculpt is very much a filmation. Uh, type of head sculpt, and I, I I really appreciate that. That um, that that's that's one I, that that I really I really can get on board with. Uh, there's definitely something about this head sculpt that screams filmation, and I I, I really I really do love that. Um, very much very much in the style of the Princess of Power cartoon. Come on, Leech, give me a break here. Yeah, I really do appreciate that. He looks freaking menacing, menacing. I love it. Um, whee, what am I doing? Um, very excited to get this guy. Uh, I love, I, I love, I love the overall attire. He looks great. Um, and again, th those are those paint masters, so you really can't go by those. This one's looking even better. Again, I'm, I, I, th I think that this is the one that uh, I would definitely like to. Be. The other, the other one was a little soft. I think this one, this one looks amazing. Right? There was something that was bugging me about the other one, but this, the, the face on this one is even is is way better, way better. See, you look, you look, ah, you look at this guy. There's something going on there that I'm not liking, right? But you look at this guy, and it's like, wow, wow, that's impressive. I like the gum line. <laughs> His teeth has have, have little suction cups in there too. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I love it. And uh, the side profile. Oh man, yeah, this is this is the leech I want. I want this guy. I want this guy badly. Look at those little suckers on his on his tongue. That's crazy. How the heck did they get that kind of detail? Oh my gosh! I thought this was like a a, a snake familiar. It's a freaking whip. I didn't even know that. That's awesome. And then of course he like, <laughs> what were they thinking with this? What were they thinking with? Yeah, at least he's a break dancer now. Like wow, I get it. Fully articulated, knows what he's doing. Why? Like out of all the figures to to, to do this with, like why leech? Guys, just literally, literally, he's cutting up. Cutting up that rug, man. Like, you know, he's doing whatever he has to do, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Just crazy. Leech. Wow. Wow. Like, you know, love, 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 the, love the leech, man. Loving the leech. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who's going to get that. I don't know who's going to get that one. But, uh, yeah, I'm loving I'm loving that leech. Freaking crazy. Um, uh, Neil Hunter Hyde. When when the Empress briefly oh sorry guys ah jeez when the Empress briefly came back and laughed at the end I lost oh no that was way earlier shoot um okay here we go uh Neil Hunter Hyde one thing that I found weird about the listing is the throne that description details didn't mention uh room uh didn't mention room anything about the electro uh, the electrics LED or the electrics lights LEDs and the flames it actually does it uh, not so much the LEDs but it says that it lights up. It says it lights up. So 
I'm taking that as I'm taking that as it has LEDs. I'm taking that as 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 that. Uh, just behind. I like how Mattel's really putting hard work into the Motu line. I do too. I think it's a, a testament to uh, to how far it's come. Carlos Cruz, uh, Carlos Cruz, that's hilarious. Uh, I'm getting to enjoy. I'm enjoying rewatching it. Yeah, it was it was a great, great uh, commercial. It was an um, absolute great commercial. Um, <clears throat> what's going on, Shao Khan? How you doing tonight, man, my friend? Um, break something. I definitely appreciate the rest of Motu team is uh, taking with the brand. Push it. Give us new things that make collecting the brand exciting. Yes, 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 yes. So David Hanger. The skeleton is better. The Skeletor is better than the two pack. Yeah, he one hundred percent. He's um, he looks he looks apart. He really he definitely looks apart. Uh, Jadis Teal. Uh, hey there, Jay. Everyone in the chat room, what's going on, Jadis? How are you? How are you doing tonight? Um, <laughs> Nolan. Uh, well, the, just when you think you're done, they pull you back in. <laughs> right? Right? James Morrison. What's going on, my friend? How you doing? Um, Justin. I think Corn Boy from Four Horsemen said that they were sculpting Motu Origins, but not Masterverse. Not sure if this is happening still, but they, he said that a few years ago. Um, it might have been at the beginning of the line. I don't know if it's still ongoing, but they have a really... We already know they had a great relationship with, with Mattel, so it wouldn't surprise me. Um, Brick, Tyrion, depends on what you mean by better, but not. But for reference, it's basically the new Eternia Skeletor with Alcala's inspired head, not the big booty of that two-pack. <laughs> the big body of that two-pack. Um, let's see here. <laughs> that thing is red. Yeah, it's it's freaking amazing. Great choices with the gold highlights. One hundred percent. I love it. Uh, National name Marvel. I pre-ordered that lava lamp skeleton. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I wonder if the throne can seat any of my classes. Well, it, well, easily, easily. This thing's built for you know slightly bigger figures than classics. So yes, one hundred percent. Uh, James Morrison, hoodless, very creepy. Yes, 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 yes. Cobweb Collector, thanks, Mattel. I have $408 in pre-orders right now. Ouch! But it's well worth it, my friend. It's well worth it. Helene Dread. Some people were complaining about the Skeletor with the throne price, but Masterverse Deluxe figures usually run about the 40 bucks, so you really are only paying $20 uh, for the light-up LED throne. That's a really good justification for it, 100%. But it's just awesome. It is just awesome. The other hide. Oh, nice. Unlike the details you're reading from Entertainment Earth, BBTS listing for Skeletor didn't mention light lighting effects. Well, that's why he... Entertainment Earth. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, for everybody who ordered from Entertainment Earth using my affiliate link. I really do appreciate it. Um, Psycho Hot. Uh, what's going on, my brother? How are you doing? Good to see you. Frankie River. I have 960 in pre-orders. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, at least uh, at least you don't pay until they ship, right? At least you don't pay until they ship. I hope. Um, Thanos Copter. Uh, yeah. Oh, Tigra. Oh, she looks awesome. Oh my God. You know what? Let's bring up Tigra for a second here, since we're since uh, <laughs> since Thanos Copter basically just uh, you know d d distracted me. Uh, Instagram. I think it's um, Iman. Ah. I'm gonna have to do a search because I think it's Iman Adani. Oh. Ooh, is that Lego? It's pretty cool. There he is, Iman Adani. <clears throat> Holy crap! <laughs> Oh my god. Honestly, great stuff with, with this one. This is just this is just gorgeous. Um, let's have a look at this one here. Wow, just beautiful. Let's take a look at the next one. Crazy. Um she's not cheap. She is not she is not a cheap date. That is that is that is absolutely sure. She is uh <laughs> She's gonna be about a hundred bucks, uh, but she looks, she looks stunning. Um, just bringing up all the pictures here. Um, oh my gosh! And it's funny that that they they sh they show the panther um, because unfortunately he he um, well I guess I I don't want to give away if you haven't seen Fire and Ice watch Fire and Ice. Uh, it's a great film. 
a uh, <laughs> lot of uh, a lot of beefcake cheesecake. <laughs> I think that there's a lot of that going around. But you know what? It was a sign. It was it was it was the it was it was the barbarian films, man. It was the barbarian films. That's what that's what they were. You know, a lot of beefcake, a lot of cheesecake. You know what I mean? Like it's it's just a, it, it was a par for the course. You know, but she's she's the, she's an amazing character. Uh, in the film, um, you know, uh, a, a lot of things happen during the process of the of, of the film. Um, but yeah, she's she's freaking amazing, um, and she comes with a, she comes with a crap ton of stuff, right? Holy crap! I don't think I don't think Dark Wolf came with 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 all that stuff. Holy crap! Yeah, some some really cool stuff here. Um, yeah, Tigra, man, holy shit! Like great sculpt here by uh, by Eamon O'Donoghue. Um, comes with the knife, the panther. I love the environments that they do here too. the The photography is just amazing. Yeah, man, like, whew. I, I the 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 one thing that scares me, like as as with always, the feet, right? The feet are always going to be the Achilles heel. That's hilarious that I said it that way. But it's always going to be the the uh, the weakest point of any female figure, for because you know they just don't have, especially when you come to a figure which is basically naked. Um, those feet are tiny. Like that's going to be the biggest the biggest problem I think that they're going to have with this figure. Like those feet is tiny. Um. Yeah, I, 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 I wonder how they even got her to stand the way they have here. Um, like this, this stance, that's crazy. Look at the size of those feet. I know, right? Like <laughs> Tigra, and what I'm looking at is her feet. No, I do not have a, a foot fetish. Okay, I do not, I do not subscribe to that. Although I might, ha I might have a, one after this. Um, but wow, how much plastic is there? Like that. That foot is supposed to support that hinge? That's crazy. That is absolutely bonkers. Like, you know, there's there's not much surface area there. I don't know. You you guys tell me. That is not a lot of surface area. Wow. I wonder if they have suction cups under there. Because I, I, I don't know how they got her into this stance. I have no idea how they got her to stand like this. Those are tiny feet, man. Those are some tiny feet. Like this one, too. How the hell did they make her do that? I, I, re I really... Wow. I, I love the fact that they also... That, that, that they're including her, uh, her blouse. I love it. It's more of a poncho. Okay, fine. I, I get it. It's more of a poncho. I get it. And her, her, her mini skirt. Her, her micro skirt, jeez Louise. Um, yeah, man. Again, whoever posed these and took these photos, bravo. Just chef's kiss because how the hell did you do that? Those feet are tiny. Absolutely tiny. A little, little after effects there. Yeah, uh, she, comes, she apparently she's going to come with everything that you see here. Again, how the hell are they getting their stand? I just... Just crazy. That, that Those... <laughs> It's a minor miracle that she's able to stand. I don't know. She comes with swappable faces. I didn't know that. So she comes with this rather stoic face. She comes with a smiling face and a, a rather more gritting teeth face. She has, again, her poncho, her little micro kilt. Like, wow. Um, a dagger, a stick. <laughs> that was a good scene. Uh, she, has, she has the spear and another a sw more windswept hair than the, than the flowing hair. And of course, uh, she, you know, she comes with her pet with another swapple head. There's a lot of stuff, actually. You know, for a hundred bucks, that that's that's not bad. I hope it gets a hundred bucks because you know you just never know. How much is it? What's the what's the MSRP here? Ah, there's no MSRP. Darn. Right, oh boy. Crazy, crazy. My hats off to uh, Eamon O'Donoghue. This is this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, totally, totally forgot about that. <laughs> I, I don't know how I forgot about that, but I totally forgot about that. That's just that's just that's just crazy. Um, and I had uh, Cobb Cob up there the whole time. Um, yeah, man, 
just just nuts. Uh, I, I I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving that figure because she looks she looks amazing. She looks absolutely freaking amazing. Uh, just uh, get a hero shot going there. Um, Neil Neil Hunter hype. Uh, this Adam and Credger two pack is the one my most excited for. Yes, so cute. Adam Prince Adam is my favorite character. Absolutely, absolutely freaking I I I love that that two pack one hundred percent. We'll we'll bring that one up too. Uh, James Morrison. Um, sup, Nolan? What's up? What's going on, James? How are you doing tonight? Uh, turn lips. I will say this: if you're using classic Snake Mount to scale up with matter, with Masterverse, yes, the throne is a must-have. So you have a throne that fits and that that the figures can sit inside. Uh, you know, I I didn't do a bad job of this. I mean, uh, Skeletor does more or less fit in this in this bone throne. You know what I mean? Like his head hits his head hits the um, the other uh, bony head, but I mean, he can, he can do it. Like I'm moving him around, and that's 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 why he's kind of like going all over the place. But, but it can ha- it, it it does sit down. Like you know, it's not it's not a terrible look. Uh, I've like there have been worse looks that I've had. I've had worse looks than this. But yeah, you can make it work. You can make it work. Uh, Cobweb, uh, not yet. I was gonna ask if you knew how long. Okay, I don't know what uh, you guys are talking amongst yourselves. Um. Let's see here. Thunder, Thunder Punch He Man, uh, Miss for uh, Mrs. Fratelli. <laughs> Easy there. Easy. Easy. Um, he comes with full caps. I love it. Yeah, you know, I, I wonder if it's actually gonna make a sound or something because they they it looks like there's some sort of mechanism in there. I wonder, I wonder what that's all about. Uh Dex the Collector. It looks like they're reusing Faker's head on Thunder Punch He Man. I, I agree. I think I think that's actually what they're doing. But I think that they put a little bit more work into it. I do believe so. Um, that's right. Dark Wolf uh, was up for a while. You could always get him. You, you could always get through BBTS and, and pay later. There you go. He looks amazing, by the way. Um, he uses the revolution, the, the revolution battle armor. He meant Buck. Ah, that's why. Interesting. Allison Troy's in the house. Based on the half of the fandom. Uh, that would have whined if they hadn't included it. Seems smart to include it. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, I really into the armor. Uh, the armor, though, love the gauntlets. Yep, looking so good. Uh, Jeff Morris, uh, would have been cool if it if it had a real caps. It would have been, but it's uh, <laughs> can't always get what you want. Unfortunately, it's just a, it's just the way it is. Psycho Hot, very cool. Even mo- even more money saved with the new Motu stuff. Unfortunately, the collector looks very economical. Um, it, 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 it does and it doesn't, uh, you know, we, we could talk about that all day long. Um, but I, I will touch on that a little bit. Um, cobweb probably makes a clicking noise when you turn it instead of a pop. Yep. I think that's probably true. Uh, the full caps exper- uh, ex- experience with thunder punch, he-man, uh, leans in the technical nostalgia muscle memory. I think it's kind of brilliant. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I didn't think about that. Sure. That's uh that's, that's, that's a good point. That's a good point. Mr. Vi- uh, Mr. Vice, Jay, did you ever see the statue? Uh, no, I did not see the statue, unfortunately. I th- I'm pretty sure I could look it up, but I, I never, I never actually saw it. Um, Jace Morrison, this one does look way better. Yep. Uh, Jay, did you ever see the statue of Leech? Is the best? Ah, oh, Leech. All right, Mr. Vice. Yes, I think I did. He looks amazing. He did look amazing. But again, it's the statue, right? Can't really move him. Um. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, leech, leech is on my list. <laughs> Break dancing leech. Yep. Uh B Boy Leech. <laughs> the bottom of his feet. Yep. Yep. I totally, I totally, I totally agree. I love, I love that. Uh the throne looks pretty awesome. It does. It does actually. Um, kind of wish Hordak was a deluxe with both. Looks very looks cool. Yep. Collector Phil, what's going on, my friend? I can't wait to see if we can change the color uh with the throne's pyres. At least it, it looks like at least it has red and green, which looks amazing. Uh, Healing Dread. Why is Mattel trying to blow classics out of the water between 2020 and until now? They have made four different types of, of Motu lines. It's crazy. It really is. Um, <laughs> Tigger could distract anyone. Absolutely. 100%. Uh, Carlos Cruz. I kept saying I'm not going to continue getting Masterverse. Then they release awesome figures. I know, right? That is, that's how they get you. James Morrison. Oh, she, get that! Get the hell out of here! She's sixty-five bucks. No way. Really? Hold on here. 
I, I didn't think she was 65 bucks. No, she's she's eighty she's eighty nine ninety nine. According to this. Uh I could be wrong though. Let me see on Entertainment Earth. Yeah, she's eighty nine ninety nine, according to uh, Big Bad Toy Store. So I mean, it's not, it's not super expensive, but it's not super cheap either. Yeah, eighty nine ninety nine. Again, not 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 crazy expensive, but at the same time, not not really not really cheap. <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's kind of a pick your it's kind of a pick your poison situation. Uh, but yeah. Not a bad price though either. Like honestly, not a bad price. Um, I wish she was. I wish she was sixty five dollars. I wish she was. She was sixty five dollars. Um, Gina Steele. Yep, absolutely beautiful. Uh, she's gonna be a must get. I know. Just uh, I, I'm. She has to be a must get <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> Neil has three hundred sixty dollars in in pre orders. Oh my god! Yep, ninety bucks. I would have I would have jumped on her right away. <laughs> figuratively speaking, figuratively speaking, I would have I would have jumped on her right away uh, for sixty five. One like not 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 even a not even a question. Ah, holy babe. Yeah, she is. She's quite the babe. Uh could be tacked or wired on the phone. Yeah, it's good. You know, that is a good that is a good point, uh, Thanos. That is a really good point. Uh CDM. If you say tiny feet to a mirror three times, you summon ha 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 ha. Good one. That is a good one, bro. Holy crap. Nice one. <laughs> That's originally a really good Leon Hunt Hyde. They could be using model putty. Yep. Yep. I think uh, uh, Thanos Copter said the same thing. We use it to keep items from falling off furniture on shit. Yep. Carlos Cruz. As I see her, she looks awesome. I also see a, uh, an Ariel from Thunder from Thunder Custom. Ooh, yes. And a Vampirella Custom. Nice. Actually, yes. Uh, photos are taken by one six shooter. What photos are not taken by one six shooter these days? The dude is the dude is killing it, man. The dude is killing it. Toy Bunny Hunter. I think they'll make a deluxe He Man with the same detail as Skeletor with the throne. If they did, what would you what uh, would you would you like He Man to come with it? Huh? Uh, that 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 is an interesting question. Uh, for now, no. But I would love to. I would love to see. I would love to see. Uh, a, I would love to see the uh, the filmation, um, the filmation sorceress throne. Uh, that, I think that would be awesome. Brian Bergman, Brum Brum again, Broom again. Sorry. Brian Broom again. I apologize, my friend. I got Skeletor with the throne pre-ordered. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Neil Hartai, Toy Bounty Hunter. Fans slash collectors support the Masterverse. Skeletor, Bone Throne, I think Mattel would release a similar He-Man equivalent in the future. I, I, I'm not really sure there is an equivalent for He-Man. I, I think it would definitely be the Sorceress um, throne, which looks awesome. Jeff Morrison. Tigra is 70 bucks from the Frazetta Girls. So you can get it 50% off. Nice. That actually is a pretty good incentive. Thanos Copter, my bad. 70 plus shipping from Fazetta Girls website. Ah. But the plus shipping is what kills me. You might like there's an argument to be made that you should just get it on BBTS. Did I miss the Battle Armor Skeletor? Uh no, we haven't actually gotten there yet. Uh cool figure. I'd look uh away for a few seconds on the glance. I thought they were just looking at pictures of Fit Lady. <laughs> uh, how's the weather over here, Jay? It's it's getting better. It's a it was cold, a little cold and windy today. Uh, but early in the week, it was nice and sunny. So it is getting better, my friend. It is getting better. So we shall see. All right. Let's, a uh, few more things to talk about, um, uh, for the, for the, uh, hey, come on. A few more things to talk about with the, uh, <clears throat> with the Masterverse line. Very excited about this line, by the way. Um, Emperor Hordak, looking pretty cool. I do like the way he looks. Literally jumping out of the television screen. Um, so really excited about this particular figure. He's not... It's not his super armor. It's just his regular armor that he was wearing 
uh, throughout you know throughout the most of the series, uh, which I appreciate. I like I like the soft goods cape. I like the standard. You know, he's looking all badass. Uh, I have I imagine they're gonna use his battle his um his battle armor later, but for now he looks pretty cool. Very minimalistic, very Spartan in his pack out though. I think that that's that's something we're gonna have to get used to for Masterverse from now on. At at the price point that they're at, which uh, not always not not always too excited about that. Um, Cyclone, after after we receiving our first Cyclone, this Masterverse Cyclone is looking pretty cool, man. I like the translucent um, radar. It's a nice touch, very very nice touch. He's got that face shield, the um, uh, the traditional shield itself, and those flame those flame reflects are looking. Amazing, and I'm gonna have to uh, do it. <laughs> I did this backwards. Uh, hold on for a second here, guys. Yeah, he's looking very, very cool. He's got that Tron like face. I kind of liked it. I kind of like it. Yep, very, very cool for uh, New Eternia, New Eternia Cyclone. Um, before I get to the main event for me, anyway, uh. Battle Armor Skeletor was actually not up for sale, which is a surprise. Uh, I think a lot of people were expecting him to, to be up for sale, but he wasn't. Um, but someone who was who was up for sale, Movie Freaking Beast Man. Holy crap. I am very, very excited about Movie Beast Man. Is he as thick as I would expect Beast Man to be? No. He's a bit wiry. I'll admit that. But he's got all the cues, man. Look at the detail in those shoulder pads. Look at that uh, breast armor plate. Look at those uh, thigh pads. Uh, you know his 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 leggings, the sword he carries. Everything is accurate to the movie. His face is pretty good. It's not exactly the face of um, of Beastman, but I, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, he's a bit wiry though. Uh, he's way thinner, uh, especially when you look at like you look at his thighs compared to his body. Like something happened there, man. Um, someone, someone, someone was hitting the gym really hard and just lost everything. Uh, but yeah, man, can't wait until we get movie beast man into the line and gives me hope, gives me so much hope that we're going to, we're going to get the entire line of movie figures. I am holding out hope for Tila man at arms and heck throw in Lubick. I would love to get a Lubick figure. 100%. I need Lubick. Uh, you know, I need, I need, I need, um, uh, I need Kevin. You know, I need Julie. I need them all. I need, I need, I need a new Gwildor. I need a new Gwildor. I want every single one of the main characters. We already have Evelyn. I would love Zerad. I would love another. I, I would love another chance at getting a Blade. I would love Blade, and of course, uh, Karg. I would love. I, I need them all. I need them all. Mattel, make it happen. Make it happen. Um. Awesome stuff for Masterverse, of course, and uh, very excited about that. But I think everybody, everybody really wants Cringer and Adam. Oh my God! Yes, 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 yes. Cringer and freaking Adam, man! Holy crap! Look at that! I love it! I love it! Oh my God! We're finally getting Cringer. Sorry, guys. I hit the hit the thing again. We're finally getting Cringer. We're finally getting. A fully articulated cringer. This cringer is actually more articulated than Battle Cat. That that is something. That is definitely something. I'm 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 a little not disappointed, but it's 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 kind of wow that that actually that something like that actually happened. I mean, he's got ankle articulation. He's got uh, you know multiple multiple points of articulation on his legs. Right, you got to remember the the freaking origins battle cat. The legs were like literally just. Why did they even add the top or the the the, uh, the shoulder articulation? You know what I mean? Why did they even bother? This is the cringer we deserve, man. This is this is cringer. Look at that scaredy cat face. Oh, I love it. I love it. And he's huge, man. He's 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 a he's a scaredy cat, but he's a massive scaredy cat. Look at the size of this guy. Like he is massive. He is huge. He's huge. I love that. Ah, oh, best buds for life, man. BBF. 
best best buds for life. My gosh, seriously, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Look at these two. Oh my gosh, literally jumped out of the the out of out of all of the filmation characters right now. These two, these two make my day. These two are the ones. That does not look right. <laughs> that does not. I know what they're going on here, but without the lightning, that just does not look right, man. <laughs> Cringer is right to be scared. Cringer, Cringer is right to be scared in this in this in this pose. Cringer, run, just run, Cringer, run. Oh my God, yeah, man. Really excited about these two. Cannot wait until we get Cringer into the collection. And then, Evil Lynn cartoon edition. Um, what do you guys think? Is that too yellow? Is 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 that, is that a bit too yellow for the filmation version? I I'm I'm gonna say it's not that bad. And I think if you look at the actual packaging, right? If you look at the actual packaging, I think I'm gonna hazard a guess here, but I'm thinking this is closer to the color that we're gonna get. You guys can you guys can tell me what you guys think, but I think that this this is probably what we're this is probably what we're probably this is probably what we're gonna get closer closer to closer to Evelyn. I think this is probably what we're gonna get because this color is slightly slightly yellow ish, but not nearly as yellow as this color. Like there's a big difference between um, those two those two colors. You know what I mean? You can actually see it. I really do think that this is probably more indicative of what what we're gonna get. Um, yeah, and she's looking pretty. She's looking pretty good. What am I? What am I doing? Yeah, she's looking pretty good. These pictures, I don't think are 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 as accurate, in my opinion. I I think I think the the yellow is too much. Uh, but even then, she looks awesome. I love the face sculpt. I love the 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 headdress. You know the the. Um, the crown that she wears, the shaping staff. What do you guys think? Is is it is it really a problem she doesn't have her cape? I mean, yes, the cape was 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 an essential part of Evil Lynn. Uh, if you really go, but here, do you see that? That's what's really strange. Depending on the lighting, look at this. De depending depending on the lighting, right? Oh, for crying out loud! Depending on the lighting, this looks this looks more yellow. Than this, this looks almost, almost, um, you know, uh, almost a peach skin color. You know, I don't know. What do you, what, what do you guys think? Um, because again, that, 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 yeah, man. There's like a, there's like a yellowish tinge here, but this one looks almost like Tila skin. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's hard to say. Anyway, loving the fact that we're, we're getting all of these, these figures in the line. Um. Not sure what I think about um, Cartoon Collection Web Store. I mean, when I first saw him, I thought it was actually just a re-release of the original Web Store, right? I think that's really what threw me off. You know what I mean? His blue skin really kind of... Um, I see the simplification now. And of course, that head sculpt, that head sculpt is 100% different, right? I get that. But, and Web Store being one of my, one, a lot of people's favorites, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, not really too sure how I feel about this guy. I think I'm gonna have to get him though. <laughs> At the end of the day, I love his new zip line. I love the the simplicity of it, and that statue, which turns into a gigantic beast. Love it. Yeah. Um. And the real standout characters for the cartoon collection, though, uh, are all these wonderful players. Uh, the only Origins figure to be released uh, so far is Reptilax. And I think a lot of people share the same opinion. He looks like a he looks like a Mexican wrestler. <laughs> he looks like a luchador. You know what I mean? <laughs> because his suit is more of a luchador type of outfit. You know what I mean? I I, I don't know what Axel Jimenez, what Axel Jimenez was was thinking, man. I just don't know what he was thinking. Um, I mean he's cool. He's an absolute huge kit bash. You know what I mean? But. Anything to get new figures into the line, I love it, right? But there, there is an argument to be made that he he's like a luchador, uh, snake man. <laughs> um, 
Now, when you see, when you look at him at this angle, though, it's a little bit more apparent that he's he's not human, right? Uh, it's just really weird to see this green head on this bright yellow, uh, you know, torso. Um, the real the real dead giveaway, of course, is the tail. The tail is the real dead giveaway. But would would it, would it have been a crime to make his head red? I don't know. Because you know, again, every, all all the other parts of him which are reptilian are red. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I love that tail though. That tail is badass, right? Don't get me wrong. He does look cool. He's 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 a he's a great character, but I don't know. Um, grabbing him anyway. I don't care. Um, and then of course, the collector. Wow, 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 wow. I was not expecting this at all. I was not expecting to get the collector. Glad we're getting it. Super glad we're getting the collector. But I, I, I had no, no freaking idea that we were going to get uh, the collector. That that was um, that was a new one for me. That one that one pretty much shocked uh, shocked the heck out of me. Um, I, I love the way it's shaped. Looks exactly like it did the cartoon. The box has a lot of secrets to tell, as a lot of you have already seen. Um. I can't remember. So somebody said in the comments. Somebody said in the chat that uh, it's it's a little bit too budget, right? I get that. I understand. But what they've done here is pretty clever, you know. What they've actually done here with the Skeletor store in the back, you know, the pile of seats in the front. I like it. I really like it. I think that um, it led it lends itself well uh, to you know to a. Uh, Oh, pardon me. It lends itself well to a, a wonderful Motu origin style vehicle, a, ma a, a cartoon collection vehicle. I think if they went any 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 harder on this, it would be it would cost a lot more. I think I, I think I think that's just the case. I wonder if there's a prototype. It doesn't have a lot of detail on the inside there. But then again, maybe it shouldn't. I don't know. Forty four ninety nine for this, not bad. There's even a control panel in the front. The arms extend, and it's got blast effects. Three, it can fit three people in there, man. It's not small. This thing's actually pretty beefy. I, it really does harken back to the Filmation cartoon. I love it. I really do love it. And, um, you know, there it is, right? Fits three Origins figures. Unleash the blast effects. And, of course, grab unsuspecting enemies and take them as prisoners. Seriously, what else do you need in a, in a Master Universe... Uh, Vehicle, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, and then we could talk for days about Turtles of Grayskull, but you know, I'm just really excited about a lot of these characters. Michelangelo, I say what you will about Mikey, and he's awesome, but that wig makes him even awesomer. The ultimate awesome, I don't know. So, a lot of people are gonna fight me on that one, I don't mind. Come at me, bro. I'm ready. Come at me. I love the fact that he's got segmented, you know, chains. When I saw the first uh, prototype, I was like, what the hell, man? And uh, honestly, I'm really, I'm digging, I'm digging that that wig. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And if you don't like it, put it away. You know what I mean? You don't have to have it. You don't have to have it. It's okay. It's okay. Here's something interesting. Um... The turtles are twenty two ninety nine each, right? And I was shocked when I found that Casey Jones. I figured this guy was a deluxe figure, but he's also twenty two ninety nine. Like he's not he's not any more expensive than anybody else. That's crazy. Look at the crap ton of stuff he comes with. Like that's usually a justification for any toy company to up, 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 up the price, but they didn't. Very impressive. Now he is, he is the. Um, the poster child, the, the the pretty boy. Like, what happened to Casey, man? I think the ooze just made him, like, you know, supermodel-esque. Like, look at that hair. Crazy. That is one That is one fabulous look for, for Casey Jones. Crazy. I don't disagree. I think I, li I think I like it. I think I like it. Really excited about Tila. Oh, my gosh. Captain of the Guard Tila, man. Like, her outfit's pretty cool. I really do enjoy it. Um, that sigh, though, what were they thinking? 
That thing is literally have like the, the the up to her shoulder. It's this massive. Look at that. It literally is touching her shoulder. You know what I mean? Like like this is a shoulder pauldron. But look underneath. That's her shoulder. It's literally, not even figuratively. It is literally at the at the top of her shoulder. That's crazy, man. That's that's absolutely crazy. That is nuts. Let's take a look here. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, oh, come on. Right there. See that? That goes right to their shoulder. That is that that if that doesn't say that there's that thing is comically large, I don't know what does. I don't know what does. Um, anybody else that uh, was released today? I can't remember anymore. Uh, I think that's it. Oh no, Shogun Skeletor. Yeah, Shogun Skeletor. Where is he? Where is Shogun Skeletor? There he is. Yeah, <clears throat> I like him. I like him a lot. I, I like the cape. I, I like the um. The new cape. I like the helmet. I'm I'm really crossing my fingers that this is glow in the dark. You know what? Let's find out. Let's find out. Is it glow in the dark? Let's see, let's let's see. Uh, according to the the according to the description, glow. No, nope, nothing about glow in the dark in the description. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Hmm. All right. Well. I like him. I like him all the same. Another chance of getting Skeletor into the collection, and he comes with a canister of booze, man. Like how? Like what? What's better than that? What is better than that? Just crazy. Just absolutely bonkers. All right, guys. Uh, it's it's been one hell of a week for Mass of the Universe. And uh, lots of things uh, happening in the Master Universe world. I mean, you know, <clears throat> freaking Tila, man. Like, wow. Mondo Tila. <laughs> that, that is, a, that, that is, you know, actually, I, did, we, did we even talk about Tila? Like, she's, <laughs> I don't think we even talked about Tila. Uh, friend of the channel, Tommy, um, Tommy Hodges. Uh, you know, just made made Tila, and now yeah, she was teased this uh, this afternoon. And yeah, man, Tila is finally coming to the Mondo, the Mondo release. And check that out. Who's that in the background there? Can you? <laughs> Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Man, you can't get away. The Hatter can't Hatter can't get away. Man, he's he's everywhere. He's everywhere. Yeah, man. Um, Tila, look at that face. Man, Sculpt Viper Tommy. What just absolutely gorgeous face. Beautiful. Seriously. Like, I, I like, she wrote, she was gorgeous. And Tila just, just takes it up another notch. Like, wow. Wow. Love the little brush, a little brush strokes here, the, uh, the, the highlights in the hair. I love it. The fleece, gorgeous, right? And somebody tell me what this is. I, I, in the cartoon, uh, this portion up here didn't exist. It was just, it, it, her her stomach was more or less uh, blank. Uh, this I know is is some sort of like um, adornment, but she has actually blasting um, like like um, additional weapons under here. I always found that fascinating. I love her gauntlets; they look so cool. And Tila's been working out, man. Tila's been working out. She's 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 a bit buff. She's a bit buff. Like seriously, good for her. Because she she as captain of the guard, she's got to keep that up, man. She's got to keep that up. Love the ponytail. Again, bravo, Tommy. Holy crap, you've outdone yourself. Just absolutely. And I love that fleece. There's something about it. It's 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 just. I think that this one was rushed for the for for the uh, for the show, but uh, but yeah. It's just this is crazy, and she's got the goods, man. She's got the goods. You know what I mean. Everyone's talking about, you know, the goods being the being deflated. I don't know, man. Uh, I, th I think Tommy, Tommy knew what he was doing, and this is a bit of detail that I was I was mentioning in my video. I love the fact that Tommy actually put in the the idea that they have to strap everybody into these you know uniforms, right? There's actually some thought put into how this uniform fits on Tila. I love it. Right, you can see how the breast armor is actually attached to her back. Like that's actual detail. 
that you don't think about. Like, she doesn't have any of that. <laughs> I, at least, wait a second. Does she, I can't even remember if she has it. I can't remember. But here, I love this. I love the fact that, you know, it, it's kind of like a, a, um, a corset. She's got to she's gotta tie it, like, or help, get some help to tie that down. Like, that's crazy. That makes so much sense, right? And look at those boots. Oh, the attention to detail here is just beyond. You know what I mean? And you know, you, you just you just got to think about that and how that how how it all comes together. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. I love it, guys. I don't know. I don't know how much this is going to be. It's going to be the, the the deluxe price, right? Obviously, for for the uh, Mondo release. And I'm hoping and praying and crossing my fingers that even if you don't get the deluxe release, that you might be able that you should be able to get the um, the regular release. Huge shout out to uh, Sculpt Fiber Tommy Tommy Hodges, uh, who goes by April, May, June, in J- June, July, August on Instagram. <laughs> Great to see you, Tommy. Awesome stuff. And of course, Tommy is a fan of the Flipboard because he went out of his way as a huge nod to uh, to Mad Hatter uh, to give Hatter the Motu treatment. Man, like look at that. That is the, the all you Hatterites out there. There he is, the man himself, sculpted by sculpt by Tommy. Awesome, just freaking awesome. And you know what? Might as well round it off. Uh, you know, take it full circle, guys. This is the um, this is the last weekend to uh, to back Flipboard. Um, please, guys. Uh, only two days left to go. Fifty six hours left. Uh, thank you to all the 1,232 uh, backers that have helped make this happen. Uh, we are up to uh, 178,039 pledge, the $39 in pledges. Um, and we're so close guys. We're so close, just under two, just under $20,000, uh, to get the last unlock, the, the, um, the stretch goal, the, the last, the only stretch goal. And, what I want to stress here is, if we if we reach the two hundred thousand dollar stretch goal, all of this, all of these accessories come standard with a standard flipboard. Okay, so not only do you get, not only do you get flipboard, who already comes with all this great stuff, uh, because we we reached all of we reached all of our uh, all of our milestones, right? It comes with flipboard. It comes with the uh, with the scoop with scooping action, replaceable hand, two money bags, a stopwatch, the scepter of FOMO with tears in your eyes, the 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 uh, the cloak of Tarje, and Captcha, who's basically another figure. You know what I mean? Like that's that's a lot of stuff for only forty nine dollars. And then if we hit our two hundred K goal for only $49. Not only do you get all of this, you will get all of this. So you get another swappable head. It's a beat up head of, of, uh, of flip or right. You get the cube of NFT, the mystical item, which of course is just going to rise in value. You get the broken sunglasses. You get the gripping hands to hold on to your four action figures, the mini figs. And those minifigs, if you take them off of their backing cards, can fit into the palm of the talk to the hands hands. And then you get a whole bunch of boxes to stuff into Flip Or's backpack. You get the bash fig the bash bo- uh, figure box from the Galactic Roads of Mayhem. You get the perfect plastic fantastic turtles shoebox edition with garage action. And of course, you get everyone's favorite piss tank. I think a lot of people want these. Let's get this up to 200k guys because honestly, for only $49, you're going to get this as all of this as a standard flipboard. That's crazy value. Okay, that's 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 absolutely crazy value. And we're not that far away guys. <clears throat> we have only 2 days left. Uh 100 dollars $178, now. Thank you. For the for 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 the for the support, guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for that. 
Um, so guys, the com the commercial is up. You guys can watch it on uh, on the Kickstarter. Uh, you can also support with buying another fla a flake or right? He comes with a whole bunch. He, he, he himself also comes with a lot of great stuff uh, as the nemesis of, of Flip Boar. Uh, you know, he comes with his own Katcha, which is like um, um, Gotcha. Gotcha is, is, his, is his little bot. Comes with the money bags. Comes with a swappable head, right? The stoic head, the beaten up head. Uh, comes with the um, what's it called? Devil hands and Flip Life fists. You gotta love it, guys. You gotta love it. Um, he's available to pre he's available to order, uh, just like Flipboard at uh, forty nine dollars. And he and he comes with the cloak of Tarje, Flip Life, and of course those devil hands, those, uh, those devil whore hands. Great stuff. Thanks again, guys, for all the support of Flipboard. Again, huge support. Uh, huge thanks to everybody who supported the. the the Flipboard campaign already. Only two days left to go. Let's try to get it up to 200K, guys, because it would be great to get all of that in one bundle. I really do think it would be amazing. Collector Phil, I'm in Japan, and my attorney is in transit. International orders delivered late. That's crazy. I hope you get it intact, my friend, because that one, it's, it, it is a must-have, 100%. Um, Derek Kuto's in the house. Hey, Jay, hope, you, hope you're good, my friend. Did you notice? Uh, did you get the notice for your attorney yet, brother? No, I have not. I'm so jealous you already got yours. That's crazy. Uh, Brian, uh, Broom again. Uh, Jay, you can call me Brian B if you want. My last name is German, and I know it is hard to pronounce. Uh, thank you, my friend. I, I apologize for uh, for the mispronunciation. Um, we need a blade, yes, Derek. We definitely need a blade. James Morrison is in the house. Me too. The movie never gets much love for figures. I love the movie. It's still one of my favorite movies of all time. I still say that it's the best live action kids movie of the eighties. Ha <laughs> ha. You can call me. You, you can you can prove me wrong, guys. Uh, Frank Rivera, one of my favorite reveals. Yes, one hundred percent. Give us Pig Boy. Yes, Cobweb Collector. Give us Pig Boy. One hundred percent. Allison Troy. Uh, they had these hand painted, and lighting is making the herd look yellow. Actual plastic will be the correct color. Thank you, Allison. Thank you for that. Really appreciate it. Uh, Shao Kahn. She needs a cape. I know, right? Derek Kuto. Why, who's the guy that Skeletor vaporized in the movie? Poor guy. Oh, Sarad. Evil Lynn's face looks like she's constipated. <laughs> Sarad did, did not survive. Um, gonna pass on Web Store. Yeah, he looks, yeah, he looks a bit, I don't know. There's something about him. Uh, didn't he have pupils in the show? I can't remember. He did. And, the, and he had pupils there. There are pupils in the, uh, on, on this figure. Uh, Justin. Uh, just glad we're getting the Axel, uh, the the Axel characters, and I hope we get more new characters. Me too, me too. Uh, Timbo from Limbo, Reptilax flesh color is a, a tail is an odd choice. Still uh, bought him though. Yes, he again. I, I'm still grabbing him. <laughs> oh, Yoko UB G guys, definitely follow Yoko on Instagram. Great creator, wonderful 3D artist. I like that manifold. It's compact, but it's a good price. Yes, it really is. I really do like the. Um, uh, the collector, one hundred percent. Again, it, it's 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 in it's in it's in the style of of origins. So one hundred percent, I I think it's a really good idea. Uh, I wish that collector came with a flight stand too. That would be nice, Neil. But can't have everything for that price. You know what I mean? Um, Kawabunga, dude. That's right, Frankie. <laughs> love that hairstyle. Uh, the wig's kind of funny, yeah, but I love it. 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 Uh, Derek Kuto. Why is the inside of the mouth on on Mikey Green? Ah, it's just you know they cheaped out there a little bit, and that that might not be the final version either. You never know. Ah, <laughs> chicken head Tila, I know, right? <laughs> that is actually true. <laughs> that is actually kind of true. Uh, team, uh, Neil, Neil, uh, Team and T, uh, Green looks so green to be to be glow in the dark on Team and T Skelly. I know, but I'm hoping we can all hope for that. Healing Dread. That Turtle Gray Skull Skeletor will be reused later in the 2000X Samurai Skeletor. I I, I, pro I don't disagree. I was saying the same thing earlier in my one of my streams. Uh, <laughs> she looks buff. She does, but I like it. Uh, Thanos Copter, she looks great, but I just won't let myself do Mondo. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Uh, Frank Rivera, gorgeous Tila. Yes, absolutely freaking gorgeous. 
Um, Healing Dread. I hope it happens because then we can get a martial arts He Man for 2000X. That would be the blue, the cool blue chest armor. Nice. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I uh, love the detail in Tila's hair. Yes, so good. Uh, same here, Thana. Same here. I can't buy Mondo for the dam. The dam will break. I know, right? Uh, Frankie Mondo Flippor. Yes, that would be so. That would be so cool. <laughs> Uh, Neil, I got my Flipboard pre-order. Thank you, Neil. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody who who supported Flipboard. Uh, this month is going to hurt my wallet. <laughs> I think every month it hurts our wallets, everybody. Uh, 200,000 in Flipboard, that's like 300 Eternias. I know. It's crazy. And it's still within reach. We can make it. We can make it. 56 hours. Go start feeling the FOMO, people. Yep. Please, please, please. <laughs> uh, Derek Kuto. I can't wait to get Flipboard or Flakar. Uh, wonder if the goal isn't met. Maybe Hatter Toys can make an accessories pack for the peeps that want the extra head, piss tank, etc. Yeah, that might be a possibility. Maybe, maybe, maybe that is something that uh, that we can look into. Uh, Neil, Kickstarter flip or link in the description of this video. Thank you, my friend. It is, and uh, and uh, thank you guys for all for all the support. Really appreciate it. Um, Andrew Davis, my flip or is looking like a mortgage payment. <laughs> what's what's next, Mondo flip or? <laughs> Andrew, thank you so much, my brother. I really appreciate all the support. Uh, <laughs> don't give nobody expensive ideas, I know, right? <laughs> oh, guys. Thank you for being here tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure always hanging out with you. Uh, please, uh, if you are able to, definitely support Flipboard and the Champions of the Verity. It's going to be a great line. We're so proud of the work that the team has done in this. Uh, I wanted to give a huge shout out to everybody on the team. I want to shout out um, uh, Renders Effects, who did all the sculpting for uh, the Flipboard for the, for the Flipboard uh, for the Flipboard figures. Uh, I want to give him a huge shout out. Um, I want to give a uh, shout out to Gilly Gilly Wright's Comics. Um, another wonderful, like again, he he. Without him, we would never have have been able to figure out how to do this because uh, 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 Kickstarter is such a crazy, crazy. Uh, uh, um, a, a crazy thing to navigate. You know what I mean? It, it was so hard to understand how to use Kickstarter. And thanks to Gilly, uh, we were able to get that done. And of course, look at the results. Uh, huge shout out to Toy Stalker for all the help that the, that he's been doing uh, behind the scenes. Uh, you know, answering people's questions. Um, you know, helping with the fulfillment. It's, it's invaluable. Absolutely invaluable. Um, huge shout out to Ramen Toy, of course, for uh, for making this dream possible. Uh, if it wasn't for Ramen Toy. None of this would be none of this would be happening, and of course the man himself, uh, Mad Hatter. Of course, thank you so much, uh, Hatter, for for making this a reality. Thank you for bringing me on this journey. Uh, it's 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 just absolutely crazy, guys. We're trying to hit our goal of two hundred thousand uh, two hundred thousand dollars in pledges. Um, we still have another fifty six hours to go. Let's make this happen, guys. Let's get the the accessories pack because, uh, as I said earlier. If we reach our goal, not only do you get this all this entire bundle with Flipboard, but you'll also get all of this great stuff along with that for only forty nine freaking dollars. Wouldn't that be amazing, uh, guys? Uh, you can also support the project by picking up a Flaker uh, or any of the bots. Uh, they are amazing figures. And if you just want to pick up something a little bit cheap to help out the project, grab yourself a a, 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 a botcha, uh, one of the little cat bots. Uh, these these guys are are going like crazy, and they're only about ten dollars each. You can really help out the project just by picking up one of these guys. It really does help the project. Picking up any of the figures and helping support this wonderful uh, project, Flipboar and the Champions of the Fairy guys. Let's make this happen. Two hundred thousand dollars in pledges would be amazing. We can get to, we can get there, guys. We can make it happen. Um, and of course, I want to thank everybody who's shouted out the project. I want to thank Toy Shiz. I want to thank Shardimus Prime. I want to thank um, Displaying Model Behavior, our good friends over at Toy Habits who have been uh, so generous giving us interviews. Uh, Geek Dad Life, man, what 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 an amazing uh, time that we've had with Geek Dad Life. I want to shout out uh, the um, uh, reluctant re re uh, the reluctant uh, the the reluctantly adult podcast. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. Um, <laughs> I think I'm saying that right. Um, I, I want to thank I want to thank uh, Mr. Home Arcade. Oh my gosh, Mr. Home Arcade has been absolutely uh, instru instrumental uh, throughout this behind the scenes. The guys, are, the guys, a gem. Um, 
So uh, thank you guys for everything. Uh, yes, the Reluctant Adult Podcast. I didn't get that right. Uh, to everyone who I, I wasn't able to get to tonight, uh, you know that I wasn't on purpose. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And of course, of freaking course, thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. The community, you guys are the reason why this has been able to happen. Thank you, guys, so much for for all the support for Flipor. It's been absolutely amazing. What a, what an incredible journey. Uh, I just I just cannot believe where where we where we've been, where we've come to, where we're going. And it's because of the community and everybody who supported Flipor, and even just you know spreading the word. Telling everybody about this, you guys, you guys are freaking amazing. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. You are the best. Last comments before we log off for tonight. Um, wow, actually, that, it just exploded after I after I uh, went back here. Um, let's see here. Uh, Thanos copter flaker, yes, flaker, one hundred percent. Neil Hunter Hyde. Glad you're feeling up to the stream again. It's like old times hanging out with you late night when I'm still up and the rest of the country is still asleep. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. Really appreciate it, brother. Um, uh, Derek, glad I caught you uh, tonight. Love when you go late night. Good journey, everybody. Good journey to you too, uh, Derek. Uh, Thanos Copter, no problem, Neil. Yes, no problem indeed. Frank Rivera, thanks, Jay. And congrat congratulations, good journey. And geek proud, everybody. Thank you so much, Frankie Rivera. Always good to see you. Big Rib, Jay, you're awesome. Big Rib, you were awesome, brother. Uh, Derek Kuto, uh, no thanks, Pixel Dan. He, I uh, wish he could have helped a little bit on this channel for the Flipboard campaign. You know what? Dan is 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 keeping it safe, keeping it real. I like Dan. I think he's a really cool guy. But yeah, it would have been nice if he had sh if he had shouted it out. But you can't have everything, man. Uh, a lot of other creators couldn't shout it out. I don't know why. Uh, smack that like button on the way out, friends. Thank you so much, Neil. I really appreciate that. Please do hit that like button, everybody. It really helps out the 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 video. Uh, I'm Shah Khan. Uh, I have the power. You do have the power, my, my emperor. Uh, Thanos Copter, great show, Jay. Have a good night. You too, my friend. Good journey to you. Uh, Kenzo Creations, what up, big dog? How's everything going? We're just logging off, Kenzo. <laughs> we went through an entire stream talking about uh, Flip War, talking about so many different things. Thank you once again, guys, for all the support on Flip War. Uh, we really do need it. Uh, thank you, everyone who supported Flip War so far. Um, yes, once again, happy Easter to everybody who celebrates it. Uh, happy Easter to you too, Kenzo. Um, Andrew Davis, waiting for my Mega J Scalper Sam Sky I know, right? <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. Thanos Copter, uh, Mythic Dolphin, good journey, y'all. Good, good journey to you too, Mythic Dolphins. I'll check on your comment uh, when I have a chance. I hope somebody replied to it already. Uh, Neil Hart to Hyde, Mega J Scalper Sam. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe wave two. That would be fun, wouldn't it? That would be absolutely bonkers. Guys, once again, please uh, support Flipboard if you can. Uh, we've only got 56 hours left to go, and we would really love to get to 200,000 uh, pledges, $200,000 in pledges. That would be absolutely amazing. Guys, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Happy Easter, everybody, to everybody who celebrates it. And, and for the rest of you guys, have a great weekend. We will see you on Monday for the conclusion of the Flip Bar campaign. Good journey, everybody. Geek proud. Ah, where to go? <laughs>